Welcome, 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 welcome. How are we? Happy holidays, everybody. Merry Christmas. I know technically Christmas is over, but still, I still feel like we should say happy Christmas, you know, because obviously we didn't see you over the festive period, and this is as close to a Christmas party as we're probably going to get, to be honest. So this is what we're doing. Rogie straight away in there, by the way, with 22 months. 22 months on the sub, Rogie. Appreciate that. Very, very kind indeed. My two months and two months until my sub counts as a toddler. I, mean, I think so, to be honest. I think that's pretty much where we're at, by the way. Um, I hope everyone did have, by the way, a, a lovely Christmas and uh, is looking forward to the new year. I don't know whether you're back at work or not. Obviously, it's bank holiday today as well. People might go back to work tomorrow. So, of course, we're supposed to stream on a Monday, which, of course, we didn't do yesterday, which was, of course, Boxing Day. So we'll stream tonight, we'll stream tomorrow, and then we'll stream on Friday night as well. Um, as I say, it is technically the unofficial Christmas party, so Christmas jumper is on. Then we have we have a, a bottle of Baileys to get through as well. And of course, those in the stream will know we got Trifle because uh, I mocked Trifle and said it was a bit rubbish. So I figured, you know what? Fuck it. We'll buy a Trifle. We'll eat it on stream and we'll, uh, we'll we'll have a bottle of Baileys as well. So that's pretty much what we got to do. Oh, oh yeah. And of course, we've got a brand new club to go and manage, haven't we? So let's go and see them, shall we? Welcome in Enigma Records. Appreciate the bits. That's very kind. Thank you very much indeed. Friendly Ghost is in as well, of course. Making fun already of Rogi, who's apparently always acts like a big toddler. If, of course, if, of course, you're a subscriber, remember you've got some brand new emotes tonight as well. Uh, I've done a little bit of a little bit of emoting uh, over the uh, over the, the festive period. Um, we're getting close to a hype train already, actually, which is quite nice. Um, yeah, we've got a couple of new ones. We've got, uh, that, that's what she said. We've got zero days since last nonsense. We've got an, an update all about the narrative one. And then there's also the easy way, the hard way, and the TJ way as well. And of course, you, you get the chair and more as well. So this is where the stream ended on what day? 22nd, maybe? 22nd of December, I think it was, was the last stream we had. Now, this is what happens. Okay, so we're managing Porter down, okay? The idea, if you're brand new to the stream, is that we are doing the British Steel Challenge, which of course is we are hoping to win every single trophy available to us in England, Scotland, Wales, and Northern Ireland. We started at Banbridge, that was great. We did three seasons at Banbridge, we had a lovely time. We won two trophies, one was a promotion, one was a cup. We looked at season four and thought, we're not gonna get anything with Banbridge, let's let's move to a bigger club. Okay, now Portadown have been relegated into the championship. They were the biggest club in the championship. We thought, if we can get in there, we can turn this ship around, we can get ourselves promoted, probably win the league or something, get another trophy, move on up. As you can see there, this is a club with history, right? Four premiership trophies to its name, 22 Euro Middlestar Cups to its name. This is a club that was used to success back in the day. Not so much now, of course. End of the first season, we were brilliant. We lost two games in the league all season from, from the halfway point to where we got to. We just missed out on getting into the playoff set of the uh, of the league table. We reinvested loads in the uh, in the summer, right? We did a great recruitment job, we thought. It didn't quite play out as we thought because sadly, we're sat there in eighth, right? 16 games into the season, it's not looking great. We've lost seven matches already this season, five wins, four draws, including, including as well, we've already been knocked out of the Middlestar Cup at the quarterfinal stage, sorry, semi-final stage, sorry, we'll talk a little bit more about that in a second. We're out of the Bet McLean Cup as well, losing to Crusaders. This was just a dreadful run of form, to be honest. I don't know what, I lost my head a little bit, to be honest, with the stream. I was like, I don't know what I'm doing, and I just, I panicked. I panicked, and I got myself in a bit of a sort of like tailspin, and... Results were very much reflective of that, I think. Okay, now this one here, though, this this match here, this is obviously where, where, where I started to lose it. We lost to Crusaders on penalties. They're a premiership club, by the way, and we lost there. We thought, I was like, ah, what were we going to do? Threw all my toys out of the pram and started again. Then it got to this point here, Dungannon. We got hammered, by the way, by Bambridge 4 1. Okay, 4 1 defeat at home to away to Bambridge. Raggio. In with 18 months, appreciate you, Rajo. And we've hit a hype train already. We can maybe get to the next level as well, by the way. So any subs and emotes and that, uh, and primes, drop them in. We can start boosting that up. We start moving our way up the Twitch views. As you can see, hammered by Bambridge, 4-1. Like, we took an absolute pasting, and we went down to 10 men as well. In fact, we went down to nine men, in fact. Dreadful goalkeeping there, as you can see. Uh, McCrudden getting another one. 
We somehow pulled the goal back, by the way. No idea how. Um, Critoro, who's probably been the sort of the shining light for for, uh, for Porter down, I suppose, really. But 4-1, we were all set to walk after that match. We were like, right, we're going to have to go. This is just embarrassing. OK, what do we do? Well, we thought, you know what? There's still a cup game to go. There's still Dungannon. Let's play that out. We played out the, the semi-final of the Middle Ulster Cup against Dungannon. Lost 4-1 again. And I was like, oh, man, what are we doing? Like, just couldn't, couldn't get... Uh, I just couldn't get a steer or anything. This is a team, by the way, Dungannon, haven't even won a league game all season right this that's bottom of the premiership again dreadful goalkeeping there by graham they're bottom of the premiership no wins all season they're coming that they beat us they pummel us in fact 4-1 um but what's interesting however is that they were playing without a manager as well at this point they'd already sat their manager and we were kind of looking around and sort of thinking well you know what what's available where's the next part of the, of the save going to go as I say, we should have really walked off Banbridge, but we thought, let's sort of put our CV around, right? And we dropped our CV into Dungannon before this match, by the way. And I don't know what they saw, because we had a conversation, right? We had a conversation, and we then looked at our next couple of games. We beat Ards 2-1, and then we had this ridiculous match here against Dollingstown where we were 3-0 down Dollingstown who were going to go for second in the league by the way at this point we're 3-0 down we pulled it back to 3-3 three, three. okay clearly the players have given up playing for us by the way George Wright like the players just down tooled Porter down tools absolutely they didn't care right they were on their holidays they wanted me out of the club clearly they just stopped playing and I was like right it's going to be one of those okay so we did this, right? We did this. This is against Dollingstown, and we're sort of sitting there going, oh, this is, like, you know what I'm like. You know that I'm sort of sitting there going, well, I think we're turning this around. I think we're turning this around. But deep down, I knew it wasn't really working. I knew it wasn't really working. And I was thinking, this is not quite the thing. Even the pumps to how are you doing, buddy? Lovely to see you. Hope you're well. Pleasure to have you in. 3-3. Three, three. There you go. That's what it was. 95th minute. Right, we got the equaliser. And I thought, you know what? It's just, is that is that enough to convince me to stay? Not really. Because Dungannon then approached me with a contract. <laughs> and we've agreed to move. We've agreed to move to Dungannon, okay? So we're going to go and we're going to fall upwards. We're going to a club who are in the Premiership. Granted, they're bottom of the league. They've got no wins, okay? <laughs> <laughs> got no wins at all, right? Seven points behind Balamina for staying up, okay? Then, of course, so there's our first battle. Our first battle is stay in the division, okay? And we like a relegation battle, don't we? We do like a relegation battle, okay? But what's more exciting, what's more exciting is when you look at the schedule, and bear in mind, of course, we are in the need for a load of trophies, we play in the middle to cup final because remember, Dungannon knocked Porter down out. So therefore, we can not only potentially move up into a, into a better division, come back down and potentially get promoted again so we, we win another trophy, or we win the cup somehow in stream. Right? And I don't know. I don't know. This is essentially, as you say, Joe, this is bottom of Christmas. Bottom of Christmas live. It's exactly what we're doing. Um, I'm having a tough time with FM and need to see someone successful. RDF isn't live, so I've come here. Appreciate you, Pumster. There's no, there's nothing, nothing successful around here, as you know. Um, and of course, as well, apologies, by the way, that the jumper is a bit bright. You know, it is a little bit bright. Mrs. J in with a gifted sub. Appreciate that, Mrs. J. Thank you very much indeed. So let's do it then, shall we? Let's raise a glass to our new employers. Dungan and Swift. This is us then. We come in. It's a move that sparks healthy. It's, it's a move that sparks plenty of heated debate. Oh, that's there you go. That's where we are, right? Seventy-four wins, forty-six draws, sixty-three defeats. He's also won a cup. That's just all they say there. The Dungannon Taylor Swifts. 
<laughs> His first game in charge will be against Ballymead United in the Premier League ship. James will face pressure to bring immediate success to Stangmore Park, having stepped up from his previous standing to take sole charge. So we'll need to hit the ground running to see if he's to win over those who believe this appointment is a questionable decision. I mean, questionable absolutely is, is, is 100% fair, to be honest. This is a gamble and a half uh, for Dungannon, but hey ho, that's... It's what it is, isn't it? You know, Tony's press conference is me. Hi, I'm the problem. It's me. <laughs> I, don't, I don't get the reference, but but I, but I love the fact you're having great times. Um, this is where they are. They're expected to finish 10th. So obviously they're not expected to do particularly well. We don't have a director of football. Um, fierce rivals are lock goal. We, of course, are struggling in the league. Uh, adequate training facilities, average youth facilities, fairly basic youth recruitment am i going to be an anti-hero maybe maybe i don't know how we'll do it but i kind of feel as though this is this is what we do right we turn up to struggling clubs and we fix them right that's what we do 442 they play they play 442 this is this is going to be fine this is going to be perfect look at this it's all set up good to go none of this 4231 business none of this 433352 442 Perfect, okay? Dunn, Marin, Jones, Bird, Glennie, Campbell, Mitchell, Agnew, Gallagher, O'Connor, and Convey. That's it. Taylor Swift puns are completely lost, but but keep putting them in. Keep putting them in, because, you know, it'll be a... Uh, someone somewhere will, will make a, a, a little sort of gif of it or something, or a meme of it, and it'll all, it'll all make sense. Um, expectations... Avoid relegation. We will try. We'll try. That's uh, from what the supporters are reckoning. Let's see then. We're off to Dungannon. This is where we are. So tonight is going to be... Let's have a look at the players. Let's try and get that 4-4-2 working again. Um, and then let's see what we can do. Supporters influence on the board. Hi. Oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> Hmm, I think we've made a mistake already. 24% of the fans are core fans, but outnumbered by the family section, which is 27%. Actually, it's outnumbered by the casual fans as well, so if we can keep the casual fans at an arm's length, we should be okay. 13% uh, are fair weather fans. 7% the hardcore Dungannon Ultras uh, having a great way there. I uh, hope he gets a getaway car. Again, I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it, but I love it. If you play Porter down again, there'll be bad blood. Yes. Yes, you're right, Rogie. There will be the tension and and other things. Um, Seventeen thousand people following them on social media. One hundred forty-seven season ticket holders. Zero people on the season ticket waiting list. I mean, I don't understand how not. Maybe there's a Taylor Swift reference in uh, in season ticket waiting lists. I, I don't know. I don't know if there is. There might be. I presume that she's you know all for. Allocated seating, maybe? I, I don't know. I don't know. Um, season expectations. Get into the relegation playoffs. Reach the quarterfinals of the Northern Irish Cup as a minimum. Reach the semi-finals of the Euro Electrics Mid Ultra Cup as a minimum. £810 transfer budget. £5,409 in the wage budget. Currently spending 6500 <laughs> Ooh, Maybe we have to move some players out, possibly then. Um, the fans knew you were in trouble when you walked in, so they dropped off the list. <laughs> oh, yeah, probably, probably. Yeah, people just sort of saying, "Oh god, oh god, here he comes!" Cancelling that. So this is the players. Then let's have a look. Right, let's get a bit of trifle on the go as well. By the way, so Merry Christmas, everybody. Um, also, as well, I should say that it's, it's getting a bit warm already in the Christmas jumper. So there will be a point when I decide to uh, to remove it and slip back into a more comfortable T-shirt. So as you were. Um, a trifle's just a bit rubbish, isn't it, really? It's a crap dessert. You certainly don't get this as a Christmas Day thing. Um, hype train complete. Excellent. Welcome. Well done, everyone. Cracking work. There you go. Bit of trifle. Black for three. Back for three. Welcome in. Appreciate you in there. Merry Christmas indeed. Declan Dunn. Number one shot stopper here. He's conceded 12, 20 goals in 12 games. Perfect. That's what we want. Um, handling of 13, aerial reach of 14, command of area only eight, sadly. Six foot two, so he's clearly our, our number one. Uh, backup goalkeeper, Connor Byrne there. 
5'11". Yeah, he's not, he's not going to be the, the number one, is he? Let's be honest. Um, in the defence, Pierce Bird. No-nonsense centre-half. He's got the thing we like straight away. Look at that. Jumping reach, 16. Heading, 13. Marking, 12. Tackling, 11. Positioning's only 9, though. Teamwork, 11. Determination, 17. Bravery, 14. Strength of 15. Right, this is the guy. He's going to be... We will need him to muscle people out the way, to be honest. Um... Pierce Bird, strong bird. Oh, 100%. 100%. He's going into the red and his reputation is online, but whatever happens, he'll remember it in folklore forevermore. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's poetic. Poetic, that. He's back now. Christmas is complete. Exactly, Barton. We're all here. I'm a bit like I'm a bit like Jesus in that respect, to be honest. You know, rocked up at Christmas, having a lovely, lovely time. Makes it better for everybody. Sounds like champagne problems. Yes. Yes, it does. It does. Again, like... <laughs> Um, Bobby Dean Bobby Dean's mm, Bobby Dean's alright He's not We probably do need to replace Bobby Dean Don't we I think Already got question marks over Bobby Dean And um, well, He's not as bad as Jim Heron well, Actually Jim Heron's only 19 So I can't really Criticise him too badly Pierce Bird is the same guy as at Kings Lynn I think was it? Pierce Bird at Kings Lynn. He was at Kings Lynn. I love when Neil and Taylor Swift reference the Tony's just sat there like this is the fine dog. <laughs> yeah, exactly, yeah. I don't, I, I don't know. I've got no idea what any of this means, but you lot are all having a great time, and that's the most important thing. You guys are having a lovely, lovely time, and um, and I'm sitting there going, I, I don't know. I, I genuinely don't know. Um, so, yeah, so, King, so Pierce Bird was at Kings Lynn. I'm not sure if that's a Taylor Swift reference or not, but um, yeah, he's been at Dungannon for four years now. Part of the furniture. So he's definitely going to stay. Jim Heron, six foot three, 19 years old. Jumping reach of 15. Not massively good once he gets up in the air, though, to be honest. Um, sorry, bear with me two seconds. I had to do a sneeze there. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, jumping reach is good. Unhappy this agreed playing time has changed from being a fringe option. What? So he's now a breakthrough. Okay, so he's not gonna. Um, yeah, he's a breakthrough. That's that's like a. Is that a Taylor Swift song? I don't know. Uh, John Scott, fullback slash central defender. Probably more of a fullback to be honest. Acceleration's good. Market's all right. Heading's not too bad. Positioning's fine. Crossing and dribbling's okay. Um, Andrew Mitchell, midfielder. Looks reasonable. Not really particularly quick. 34 years old. 13 for free kick taken. Evening, Alec. How are you, buddy? Welcome to have you in. Decent tackling, decent teamwork, decent work rate. Could be a ball winner. I'm all for when Tony makes an accidental Taylor Swift reference. Well, the, yeah, yeah. Put like, let me know if I make one that is one, and I'll be sat, and, I'll, and then I'll be like, ah, oh, yeah, yeah, I totally knew that. Um, I haven't yet. <laughs> is there a chance that Taylor Swift song has a has a song called Joy Jones? Is that is that a thing? Is that a thing? Um, does she have a song called Eating a Massive Trifle? I love the tweet that Mrs. J tried to use a Thomas the Tank Engine as a back massage. Right, so. What that is, Dan, okay? Now, if you haven't seen this week, by the way, Mrs. J on Christmas Day tried to, not a back massager per se, but she, she tried to sort of like massage the back of her sister's uh, neck with this uh, mechanical Thomas the Tank Engine that, I, that one of our sons got. And as she was rubbing it on the back of her neck, it, it got caught in, in her sister's hair. So therefore got tangled. Um, is that a Taylor Swift song? Tangled by a Thomas the Tank Engine? It might be. So it gets tangled up in there, right? And then... Of course, she's trying to pull it back out and it's not having any of it. And then she has to... Mrs. J thinks at some point that Thomas the Tank Engine is going to re reverse and then she'll get it pulled back out. But of course it doesn't. It just then goes... and goes a little bit further up. So it spent a lot of time trying to fight to get this Thomas the Tank Engine out of my sister-in-law's hair. And she was not happy about that, to be honest. So it got tense. got very tense. And then she had to cut her own hair out. And yeah, she was not... She's not keen on that. So yeah, yeah. Someone said that was said. Someone said that wasn't even true, and I was like, thankfully, Rogi was like, yeah, it's probably true. <laughs> it's probably true. 
You've probably seen a clip of him stopping running after a ball that stopped in the mud. Oh, is that Joey Jones, is it? Became known as fuck's sake Joey because of mistakes at key times. Love it, love it. Hello, Dave Goodger. Merry Christmas. How are you, buddy? Welcome in. Give the spin and Dave Goodger's a little run around. Um, okay, shoots from distance, tries long range passes, likes to switch the ball to the wide areas, brings the ball out of defence. I mean, he's been there for a while. I mean, look, if all his problems at walking were back in 2017, 24, 13, that's that's way down, right? That's weird. We, we've forgiven him for that. We've forgiven him for that. So, that'll be fine. Cowlin Maron, fullback. Look at this guy. Tries to play his way out of trouble. Excellent. That's that's what we know. That's what we like. Doesn't dive into tackles because he can't. Dribbling six, crossing one. Ooh, oh dear. Um, decent enough jumping reach to be honest. So we might see. We might see how he gets on there. Festive period was going good. Thanks, Mister Goodger. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. We had a pleasant time. So we're just uh, we're just getting in, getting involved, in getting back on our streaming, having a bit of trifle, having a Bailey's, trying to get ourselves. Saw it out with Dungannon and um, clearly making loads of Taylor Swift puns. There's an online article with every Taylor Swift has ever baked. I'm afraid to say no trifle. I mean, that's no, that's no good. Andrew Glenny, Adam Glenny, sorry. He's the uh, he's the left back, clearly. Knocks the ball past opponents, but stays back at all times. Brilliant, love that. Knocks it past him and goes, nope, not for me, not for me. That's that's for the midfield to pick up. I got past him, but I can't. I, I can't go forward. Possibly, really can't. Ryan Mace doesn't look great. To be honest, doesn't look great. Reese Campbell. That's another soup. Another soup. Let's dig the soup emotes back out. I, I I undid it. Took it off, but maybe we'll uh, maybe we'll keep it back on. Let me just re reattach that for the uh, for anyone who's a. Uh, Who's a sub? Who subscribes? Can I just drag that back in? Don't think I can. I need to do it again. Where is it? All right, there we go. Soup's back in. It's another another one there. If Lenny becomes a cult hero, I can make a Tyler Swift, a Taylor Swift, Tyler Swift. Who's Tyler Swift? Taylor Swift parody of her Betty song. Betty and Glenny. I, I, again, I, I don't, I don't get it. Lee Mooney, right? Remind me, chat. Was this Lee Mooney the one that when we were at Bambridge, we wanted because he played for Institute? Do you remember? And we thought that looks like a hell of a player, and he's like sixteen or seventeen or something. And we thought, oh, he's going to be great. I think this is the guy. And player traits attempt overhead kicks. So this is gonna be brilliant. Balance of four, finishing of three, flair of uh thirteen. So maybe maybe we could see some excitement coming from this guy. Um Ben Gallagher up top, Porcher, 24 years old, finishing 13, determination, 15, off the ball, 10. Runs with the ball through the centre, knocks the ball past from the opponents, cuts inside, acceleration, one goal so far. Dara McBrien, inverted winger, cuts inside from the left wing, we can do that, we can do that. Someone made a parody song about soup to a Taylor Swift song, so have I done it? Have I done it then, then George? Have I actually done the the thing that you said? Because that would be really like... Bizarre, wouldn't it, if I've actually done it by accident? O'Connor up top, pressing forward. There we go. Six foot three. And Prendergast as well, who scored a couple of goals against me. Or well, scored at least one goal against me. Hold up, hold up. That sounds like my theme tune. <laughs> Maybe it was you. Maybe it was you. So, I think we go... Do we go route one, or do we go direct counter-attack? What are you reckoning? We can't park the bus. We can't park the bus because we need to try and like get the ball further up the pitch. We need to start getting some wins, right? So I'm tempted to go route one. You reckon park the bus? Hmm. Defensively, do we look decent? 
low and structured defensive work. Get players behind the ball. We could slam the handbrake on. <laughs> low defensive line, low block. I mean, it's kind of what we do, right? But then again, we could do a low block route one. I mean, Channel in a big Sam. Direct passing, early crosses, be disciplined, waste time. This is this is kind of where we are in it, really. Long kicks up to that big, big striker. There we go. That's what we're doing. We're gonna do that. 4-4-2, route one. But I sort of feel as though. We just change that around, actually. There we go. That should be us. So he's going to be an inverted winger, isn't he? On attack, and then he can be a winger on support. So this is how we're going to set up Declan Dunning goal. Fullback Marin. Joey Jones at centre half, maybe? Is he a centre half or is he a midfielder? He could be a ball winner midfielder, maybe. Put him there for now. Pierce Bird. Put Jim Heron there for now. No. Bobby Dean? Well, Bobby Dean could be there. Glenny. Campbell, Convy, Gallagher. Actually, no, Gallagher's the big landing. Oh, Gallagher's the poacher. I'm going to press him forward on support. It's going to be O'Connor. Attack. Mrs. J, please sit down, Tony down, and play him folklore. It'll help with the narrative. It it might do. It might do. I mean, I don't I don't think I don't think that's gonna be the main problem with this um with, with this save, to be honest. It's like showing a dog a particularly impressive card trick. I mean, yeah, it's probably gonna blow my mind, isn't it? Like I'm gonna sit there going, wow, that's like so many lyrics that I've not even heard of. I mean, is 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 Taylor Swift any good? No, I'm asking her. That's really like throwing it out to the wolves, isn't it? Going like, is, is this Taylor Swift any decent? You know, very much old man shouts at cloud there, isn't it? I wouldn't know. I would not know. Um. Can Mooney play in that position? He probably can, but who's currently playing there that might be might be the guy? Convy. Shadow Striker. See, I'm not... We're not going to play the Shadow Striker. Mitchell, 34 years old. Can he be the guy who does something with it? Maybe. Actually, you know what? Maybe, because then we could always drop that. So what we can do is we can do this sort of like... Copy, can't we? Have them play like that so the pair of them can both sit defensive if they need to. Yeah, double DMs. Pressing forward and defend so he comes a little bit deeper. Does Tony even know what Taylor Swift looks like? I've got no idea. Like, do, I, do I need to Google? Is, first of all, is it a man or a woman? That's the question. Is Taylor Swift a man or a woman? I don't know. American female. Okay. Right, that helps. That helps. Um... Right, let's do let's do like guess who. Has she got um 
has she got a very definite fringe? This is where Mrs. J suddenly turns up and goes, right, I can answer this one. Sometimes, oh, okay. Um, okay. Does she occasionally have overly accentuated hair colourings? No, okay. Um, uh, she's a she's a blonde lady. Okay, cool. Um, does she look like a wannabe cowboy? Ask if she has a wrecking ball. Does she have a wrecking ball? You've, you've whispered me a video. Right, okay. A video worth watching. Let's have a look at a video worth watching. What is it? Let's bear in mind, I've got it on silent because in case I don't want to get DMCA'd. Um, does she look like she could win in an MMA fight? Yes, says Jebru. There you're right. Jebru, Jebru reckons she could win an MMA fight. That's good. Never thought I'd see Taylor Swift being mentioned in Tony's stream. I mean, to be honest, mentioned is probably like the is the the loosest sense of the word here, isn't it? Mentioned, yes. Understanding, not at all. So, okay. So the video that I'm watching now appears to have some sort of post-apocalyptic. Uh, some bats. Fifty million subscribers on YouTube. Is she like, she must be proper famous then, I'm guessing. Bet she doesn't do football manager videos. Here lies Taylor Swift's reputation. Oh, she looks like a zombie. No, she doesn't really look like she works as a as a cowboy all, does she? So, okay, so she's just digging up a grip. So is, does, so is this her normal look then? As just, you know, dead person. Oh no, a different person. Now having a bat in a bath of diamonds. Um, she doesn't look much like a cowboy, to be honest. No, and also she's not going to get clean in diamonds, is she? Let's be honest. That's you, you're not going to. I mean, also you don't want to. You're just going to. You're going to scratch yourself if anything. I mean, okay. I, 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 again, I'll probably we'll have a little. Oh, there's a car crash there. We'll have a listen at some point as to what the the music sounds like. But at the minute. I, all right, I mean, I'll be honest. Up until that point, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have recognised her. <laughs> wouldn't have recognised her. She could have walked in the, she could, she could have walked in the street, and I'd have been like, and there'd been loads of people presumably running around, taking photographs. I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know. You know, and that's not because you know, I don't know. Just, what, what am I supposed to say? No idea. We, we should have a, a new a new video. They, they could be taking photographs of me, exactly. Yeah. Could well be doing that, but I don't know. It's not... It's not for me. What have I missed? Mrs. J, you've missed, you've missed the stream trying to tell me what a Taylor Swift is. Um... Suffice to say, I didn't know who that was. It's that guy who doesn't know who Taylor Swift is. Yeah, I mean, what, presumably there's more than one of us, right? Presumably. There must be somebody else in the world who doesn't know what a Taylor Swift is, right? And if not, then, you know, I thought it was a small car. That's Tracy Chapman, isn't it? Oh, that's fast car. She sings Shake It Off. I'm sure you've seen The Rock doing the lip sync to it. How's that going to help me? How How is The Rock singing to a song going to help me? Unless she's The Rock. And also then you've put lip syncing to it. I mean, 
Mrs. J, you've, I think you've shown me the video, but that does not help at all. The Rock has done everything. Exactly. Like, like I don't know. Was The Rock in Jumanji or something? I don't get it. I, I am eating the trifle, yeah. I've started on the trifle, Mrs. J, because I don't know what a trailer Taylor Swift is. I've, had, I've I've started on my Baileys. I've not even I've not even I've barely touched my team, to be honest. We've only just we've been here 40 minutes. I've been here 40 minutes. The people are trying to, to tell me what a Taylor Swift is. I've now found out that it, A, it's a she, and B, what she now looks like. 50 million subscribers on YouTube. So if presumably if she comes if she comes up on the uh, if she comes up in the stream then we'll get we'll get a few extra followers off the back of it, I reckon. Start tagging her in, in tweets and that say we've we're doing something. I d I don't even know. I, I presume it's because of the fact they're called Dungan and Swift's Mrs. J. That's the only thing I can think as to the reasons as to why <laughs> Taylor Swift. <laughs> um I presume that's that's the only reason that we are where we are, but maybe she's not on Twitch. We obviously need to shout out our YouTube channel, Rogi. That's that's maybe what you gotta do. Uh right, let's have a look then at these uh these free kicks again, because we've obviously need to have to load everything back in again now, which is gonna be boring. Ugh. She's too big for Twitch. <laughs> yeah, probably. Probably someone claim it. Yeah, yeah, do that then, because then you'll be able to because then people will be like, oh, there's there's Taylor Swift, and you'll be like, yeah. I think. Maybe. And then everyone will be like, oh, where's you know, I like I like how Jameson's got Taylor Swift involved, and no one will really know. <laughs> Football Manager 23 Christmas Special, Tony RDF and Taylor Swift. I mean, just, just got to see, got to see what can happen. You know, I mean, get Taylor Swift, Taylor Swift hologram. We could get a Taylor Swift emote, couldn't we? That could be a thing. Can we make a Taylor Swift emote? Seems like something we might want to do. Does Taylor Swift know what Twitch is? You know what? I bet she doesn't. I bet she doesn't even know what Taylor Swift what, uh, what Taylor Swift is. She knows who Taylor Swift is. She won't know what Twitch is. She probably doesn't doesn't follow us on Football Manager. She should though, to be honest, right? And I think this is obviously when it's going to happen right now, isn't it? It's the crossover. It's the crossover that we never thought we needed. Mrs. J has spent, sent a lovely message as well, by the way. Your new mic is too good. You can hear how bunged up you are. Thanks, Mrs. J. <sighs> yes, that's right. That's right. Not feeling particularly well. And there we go. We've got a uh, <laughs> straight. We've got Tony. The issue is not the fact that you don't know who Taylor Swift is. The issue is the fact you sound slightly bunged up, fella. So there you go. Apologies for that. We'll try and get some. We'll try and get a new uh, a new microphone sorted. How much Bailey's have I had? I've had like two sips so far. I've not even. I'm not even nowhere near through the bottle just yet. But we'll have to get through it. RDF rapping every other word of Taylor Swift songs and getting angry at the keeper making a mistake while Tony Penn's search for a star with Taylor. <laughs> exactly, yeah. And also you can have me um, me slowly sort of like going through going, Taylor Swift, have you considered a 442 at all? And then she'd be like, nah, man. Not at all. I reckon I reckon Taylor I reckon Taylor Swift's definitely a four four two person. Like that's what I think. Uh, I think she'll be looking at going, yeah, four four two, that's my jam. Like I'm alright with that. Right. Let's go then. Might as well try and uh, try and have a little look, shall we? 
we might as well try and do something with this uh, with this football club. So I think tactics first of all. Oh, look at this! Not like giving us a a game straight away. The big one away to banger. Look at this. It's the, it's literally a relegation six pointer because if we get any points, we might start moving. I mean, this is outstanding, outstanding for where we need to start. We're starting at the bottom. Minus 14 goal difference. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. What do we think then? Should we make should we should we start polling? Can we can we actually can we actually can we do this? <laughs> it's the first thing. Are we surviving? Is the first question. And are we gonna beat um uh, whatever they're called, banger in the first match? Even in the mad signers, I know who the mad scientist is. I know who he is. I don't know who Taylor Swift is, but I know who the mad scientist is. Welcome in, buddy. Hope you're well. Appreciate you being here. So, captain is Darren McBrien. Ben Gallagher is the key player. Who's the... Um, who's the... McBrien and Gallagher. Keep it as it is, then. We're not going to change over just yet. Although, John Scott could potentially be... be um, be someone in the future we shall see staff meeting let's get this on then shall we so we're not going to change that just yet we'll change it the summer possibly if he's still there do some new training there stop his training if it's not working out position training is not working well either michael o'connor unhappy i mean okay let's let's maybe try and make them less unhappy shall we oh god speaking of less unhappy we've got to meet the players oh no Oh, we've got to do that. Evening A15, welcome in. Merry Christmas, by the way, to everyone who's new and uh, and just joined in. Apologies for having the first hour of the stream. Very Taylor Swift heavy. But also, not sorry at all. It's just, that's how it is. It's been, we've, 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 uh, we've hijacked it already. Look at Krataro, look at that. Eight goals in 15 games, five assists. We have to keep our eyes on this guy. We take over his existing loan deal. I reckon that would be like probably piss off the uh, the Porter Down fans even more. Let's go right. Took the only shining light that we had. There we go. Confirm that. Thing is, we've just. Why would you apologise for us increasing your cultural understanding of the billing of selling artists of 2022? There is that, George. There is that. Apologies. Apologies for me. Sorry for being blissfully unaware of anything of absolutely anything outside my own stratosphere which is this very room essentially to be honest so yeah you're right i probably need to learn a little bit more don't i i probably need to learn a bit so expectations attempt to avoid relegation i'm going to tell them that we can you know i'm going to tell these players we can do this I'd like to introduce myself to your new manager. Any questions you may have, particularly if you're not familiar with me. I mean, let's not let's not say you might not know who I am. Let's just say, like, hello, welcome. It's unclear you have to prove yourself to quite a few of us. Well, that's fine, but... Let's hope we can be competitive till the end of the season. I think we can avoid relegation. That's what we want. The Northern Irish Cup, where do we need to be for that? Semi-finals, isn't it? Last stages? They're happy. Brilliant. Everyone's happy. Everyone's happy. This can only end badly. How Taylor Swift ruined my life at TJFM stand-up show in 2023. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think that could be a thing, couldn't it? Me and you both, when I feel like I'm still 1998 or there or thereabouts. I mean, mate, 100%, 100% mad. I have not progressed from the late 90s at all. Someone says to me I was 40, 42. I'm having to try and work out that I'm 42. And it don't make any sense. Because I'm like, no, because 
1998 was only like seven years ago, right? So I clearly can't be 42. Well, can you share some thoughts on what it means for you to be the manager of Dungannon? I mean, it means, it means the Taylor Swift, possibly. I don't know. 1989 is a Taylor Swift album title. <laughs> okay. Missed out on that as well. Right, what's the goal then for the end of the of this cycle with Dungan? And what's the goal? Is the goal for me to know a Taylor Swift song? Is that is that it? Because that for me feels like a big leap. <laughs> we could maybe try that. By the end of the year, I will I will understand or have heard a Taylor Swift song. And at least one album name. Just make one relevant Taylor Swift reference. Mm. And like actually understand what I'm doing. Make it be like, right, okay, that's it. Okay. Yeah. I can do that. In your previous job taking over Dungan and you disappointed a number of the Portadown down supporters. Do you regret that? I mean, yeah, I get that. But at the end of the day though, it's like one of those things, isn't it? You've rather famously struggled to cultivate a strong dressing atmosphere. I mean, well, you know, that's, again, let's not let's not talk about that, to be honest. You've had very little time to prepare for your first match in charge against Ballymena. Oh, we've changed already, have we? How much, if at all, will it impact your performance? I mean, we're just going to have to go for it, aren't we? Are you targeting the Northern Irish Cup? Yes. We have to be targeting that because that's exactly what my um, what my save is about. Do you feel confident about your ability to deliver results? Yeah. We can develop our own style, but let's be honest, that style is pretty much 442. Uh Bradford or Barnsley for a new save? That's a good question, Callum, because there's there's pros and cons for each of those. Barnsley, of course, have got the um have got the old uh they they, they do the money ball, don't they? So Barnsley are a good shout. But then again, Bradford, for in fact, I was gonna say Bradford former Premier League club. They're both Premier League clubs formerly Premier League clubs but I think Barnsley are pretty much set up better to run although having said that if you take over Bradford you do you do have to um, take over Mark Hughes so there is that which I guess is a well I guess it's a positive isn't it you can get Mark Hughes out of a job so try that to be honest but yeah I think Bradford's maybe a bit uh, sorry Barnsley I think are probably better set up to be honest so that's what I would do I think yeah Friendly Ghost seems to agree as well uh, so far, Taylor Swift wins is the uh, is winning in the chat. So obviously, it doesn't help that I've already uh, got the teams wrong. So we're not playing Banger first; we're playing Balamina first. Balamina currently tenth, so we do actually have so tenth and eleventh next. This is kind of what we need to be doing, isn't it? Then Clifton Villa are fourth. Colreno 6th, Linfield a 2nd, Warren Point 7th, Glenavon 5th, Glen Torren top. Mm. If you lose, your tears will, will your tears ricochet? They will bounce, maybe? My tears ricochet is a Taylor Swift song. Yeah, okay, yeah. <laughs> I sort of thought that was probably where you're going with it, but... I was like, I'm just going to wait just to see if that is what happens. And, and, it, and it turns out it was. So thank you for that. Thank you. We were right. So here we go then. This is what we're going to do. The first match in charge at Dungannon. Away to Balamina. Just gonna have, we're just going to have to go for it, aren't we? See where we go. 4-4-2. Four, four, Let's give it, give it Yaldi and uh, just see what happens. See what happens. Pick up where you went off last time. They obviously must have done well. Pick up from where you beat us 4-1 in the cup. That would be beautiful. So, Balamina haven't won a game in five. Look at Tinley with his long 
long, uh, long flowing locks there. Till me. Which league of bonds are you in now? Are they in League One still or are they in Championship? League One, I think, aren't they? Alright, so we're in our change kit of yellow, blue shorts. Balamina in the home kit of blue and white. We're attacking the goal to my right. As I took in all of your trifle. I mean, League One is notoriously tricky to get out of, as you know. Previously, we've been embroiled in, in battles with Sunderland. Currently, a battle with Sheffield Wednesday uh, as part of the Football Manager Show Challenge. Finishing the Championship playoffs two seasons ago, they got relegated. That's right. Yeah, they nearly, they nearly went up, didn't they? They were beaten by West Brom, or was it West Brom took their manager? I can't remember. I think they took the manager, was it Valerie Ismail or something? Possibly. West Brom took the manager, there we go. Appreciate it, Callum. Alright, so I think we need to counter press a bit, don't we? Get involved a little bit. Bang out or a goal down against Glenavon. That helps us. Gonna go old school 4 4 2 for season one. Excellent, Callum. And in season nine, I hope you're still playing 4 4 2 as well. Campbell with the corner. Headed away. Can we win it back? Bird. Big stupid bird. Good header. Jones, Mitchell up over the top. Gallagher brings it down. Oh, it's O'Connor. We've taken the lead. <clears throat> 1 0 up the Gannons. What a goal. The, uh, ooh, it's. What's that, Taylor, what's that Taylor Swift song? 1 0? Is that, is that a thing? I'm sure, that's probably, probably a Taylor Swift song. Hasn't she got a song about O'Connor? Maybe. Campbell. Jones deflated over the top corner. Did you see my, um, friendly, did you see my uh, my Daryl Strawberry t-shirt as well, by the way? Don't know if you were on the stream the other night when we wore that on. Heard getting close there with a free kick. The corner, sorry. Dead, bless you. <clears throat> oh, there, was that the uh, was that the night that everyone was complaining about my hat? It was the wrong the wrong hat apparently. Gallagher cuts inside. Ball's played up. Tackled by Dean Mahoney. It was that night, yeah. <laughs> it was decent, though, wasn't it? It's the wrong hat again. Oh, great finish. Not offside either, apparently. So it's a well-timed run. So I'm going to struggle a little bit with that ball over the air. There's a go in there. Yeah. Just a little bit. For, some, for a team who's playing a low block, we're a little bit too high there. Okay. Let's keep our eyes on this thing. So we've obviously got to learn about the team, haven't we? Work out who can, who can play well, who can't play well. Who's in the wrong position. What needs to tweak. O'Connor knocks it through. O'Connor nearly getting himself a second or at least getting himself a chance speaking of chance this is what we're doing we're just giving ourselves a little chance to get ourselves out of this relegation playoff zone at the minute we're off the bottom of the table that's uh, that's a huge improvement good ball McBrien can't pull it back Jones from distance what a shot that was what an effort Okay, we're looking all right so far. He says as we're about to concede a corner and therefore concede a goal. Head it away. 
Kelly deflected up. Okay, so first half, just about, just about seen it through. Glenny, Glenny's on the yellow card. Not seeing it through just yet. 1-0, Callum Marshall, offside. He's off by a, he's off by a reasonable amount, isn't he? Good finish though. Okay, so eight shots, five on target, six for them. We've got 46% possession. Declan Dunn's lost possession. Well, he will do because he's just pinging the ball up and about. Um, hmm. Clearances, 11 clearances. Right, okay. So, let's have a quick little check. Is there anyone we can change? Seems to be what seems to be unaffected by a knock. All right, okay. Mitchell, centre midfielder, attack. He's not really getting getting much, is he? So let's tell you what. He's pulling a midfielder. That's why. Four two four. Could do. Could do. I think that we need to um, potentially we need to get Glennie doing something don't we? he's on a full back and defend he's already got himself a yellow card though let's change that tempo just a little bit okay let's see if that works for us because the thing is, because we're pinging long balls, obviously our retaining possession is going to be pretty much zero. So we've changed Mitchell to a centre midfielder on support in midfield rather than centre midfielder on attack. Now he's as part of a two. He can't really go and be as cavalier uh, when you've got, when you've got a couple of players around him. Let's put Campbell on the attack as well. Then he's on a 6-3. Scott's a centre back, a left back, he could possibly come on. You know what, let's do it. Do it before he makes a mistake that costs us. Worth looking for an overlap on the right. Hmm. Okay. Because the left the left wing is the guy who's doing the um he's inverted. So theoretically, I should have someone running into the space there. Obviously, he's off. He's on, on a yellow card. So we'll see what Scott does now. He comes. Now he comes on. See what's uh, happening there. All he knows, Spurs appreciate the follow. Very kind. So Aaron's coming down the right, essentially, isn't it? So yeah, maybe we need to start getting the ball down there a bit more. Yeah, we're barely touching the left-hand side. So if we put overlap there, and then we put him to a, it's a no nonsense, is he? Has he got the, uh, has he got the pace to get up and down? He can. He's nervous though. That's the problem. Birdie's having a bit of a. He's tired. Campbell's had a knock. Um, I don't really see much of what we can change, to be honest. Combi could potentially come on, put McBrien on the other side. But he's on a yellow card as well. Tell you what, let's do that. Let's bring him off. As well. And let's put Combi as just a standard winger on attack and move Campbell as an insider. So then theoretically, Marin can go on the outside of him. Campbell with a corner. Ten minutes to go. Might consider going positive as well, see if that helps. Whoa! 
Gallagher with the tap in. That's what we need. Birdie gets the effort, first of all. Gets the header. Keeper saves it. Gallagher's there for the tap in. 2-1. That's what we need. Now, change ourselves back to regroup. Because we've not been massively dominant. With the ball. So, maybe drop back down to 4-4-2 as well, actually. Evening, yeah, our new club update, please. So, we've been here for about an hour, an hour, maybe. And basically, we're a club called Dungannon. They knocked us out of the semi-finals of the Middlester Cup last season. We obviously gave up on Porter Down. It was just, it just wasn't going well for us. It was going really badly. Great ball, O'Connor. Oh, and um, yeah, it just wasn't really happening for us. We thought, right, maybe it's time to to make a change. And the bottom of the table, or at least they were before we took over, they hadn't won a game all season in the league. We're 15 seconds away from potentially changing that in our first match of the season. And at this point, we, uh, we've we done it. We've won our first match. We won the club's first match of the season. So, excellent. Very, very happy there. Great success, which I believe is a Taylor Swift quote. Um, so we obviously have to to try and change things up. Balamina, though, are, they're, they're tenth, so we're now four points away from survival, which is very much in our hands at this point now. Mm. Next match. Next match, banger. So... Campbell's got an injury. So that's not ideal. This could be the start of a love story. Taylor Swift quote, presumably. I'm guessing it must be. Yeah, yeah, Mrs. <laughs> Friendly Ghost already straight and going, yeah, that's the one. Baby, just say yes. Okay. I appreciate that. Um, I love the fact that what we could technically do is just we could I could technically have a screen that just has all of the uh, all the Taylor Swift songs ever made on my screen, and I could just occasionally just like drop one in. But I just, I just haven't done it. <laughs> just haven't done it because I'm just like nah like you guys will be on to me you know that I, that I won't know any of these answers so the second I like I say one by accident you'll be like ah, he doesn't know what he's done he doesn't know what he's done and that's when it becomes funny so what's interesting as well by the way is that at Porter Down, we signed, uh, we may have signed a striker for Porter Down before we left. Because we were like, oh, that'll be fine. Like, we can totally, like, you know, salvage that club. <sighs> signed Lee Newell, didn't we? That Porter Down. And we're never going to get to see him play, which is a bit frustrating. But one of those, isn't it? We'll, uh, we'll have a quick little look, though, and see what the, uh, what the assistant manager reckons, to be honest. If you came on a white in a stream tomorrow in a white t shirt, then it would be an A plus TS reference. Is that a thing, is it? Okay, I'll do that then. I'm sure she has loads of songs about getting relegated from lower league football. <laughs> <laughs> has she got a song called Long Ball <laughs> at all by any chance? Has she got any songs about low blocks? Presumably there's there's quite a few, I would imagine. You got that long hair, slick back, white T-shirt. I mean, I guess, I guess, without any sort of like rhythm, I'm not, I'm not really selling it well, am I? That's just me reading it at this point. You've got that long hair, slick back, white T-shirt. Yeah, okay. 
She's got a song about your career. <laughs> I bet she hasn't. I bet she hasn't got one that's. That, I bet she hasn't got a song uh, called "Survival on the Last Day of the Season." And if she has, then oh, what a star! What a star! We're big fans. She's. It's going to go forever, or it's going to go down in flames. You can tell when it's over if the high was worth the pain. That is a little bit like us, to be honest. Yeah, your love was a bit like a car crash. <laughs> so the Northern Irish Cup. We are drawn against Ards in the first round. Ooh, your Ards. I think this uh, this emote is perfectly acceptable for this evening. Where is it? There we go. Days without nonsense, zero. Actually, should we? Is is there a player called Swift? I feel like we should probably sign a player called Swift now then. John Swift, he's probably not going to turn up 36 grand. Eamon Swift. Neil Swift. Stephen Swift, manager. Ben Swift. Phil Swift, scout, 65. George Swift. All right, George Swift, in you come. Let's have a little look here. Let's see what you're up to. Alan St. Maximum, not really Swift. And then a player called Taylor, I guess. Mrs. Jared. <laughs> <laughs> Much easier. I suppose that's true. That is true, yeah. Um, <clears throat> you're going to regret doing this, Mrs. J, because now I'm going to say, who do you want? Who do you want to. Uh, is there a Tyler Swift? Uh, who would you like to have named as uh, Taylor or Tyler Swift? There is there is not a Tyler Swift, by the way. Uh, Dave Goodger, we just had a look. Who's the who's the best up-and-comer? Lewis Agnew? Now, the thing is, do, we, do, do, you, or do you want to wait and see if there's like a better one that comes out in the, uh, in the youth, on Youth Development Day? Glenn Taylor hasn't come through but Lennon McClaug has when I typed in Glenn Taylor we should name the best youth intake player as Taylor Swift every year yeah we'll do that we'll do that alright Mrs J gets first dibs is there a song called first dibs there probably should be I'd imagine she can't be a, a pop star pop star I'm just going to say pop star I'm going to say pop star I reckon it's just pop I can't imagine that she's new metal um I'm gonna, George Swift doesn't want to come. Fuck you, George Swift. Um, yeah, I reckon. I reckon pop star. Is that our goalkeeper's leaving? No. No, you need to stay. You need to stay. There's the don't don't leave. Don't. Because if you leave, then he'll he'll go as well. Two hundred and ten. He wants three hundred and twenty. Oh, this is this is a lot in it, really. I, mean, I know you could get more money elsewhere. You could get a lot more. 250, that seems reasonable, doesn't it? Is there a, is there a, is there a song called Is there a song called renegotiating a contract with a goalkeeper? Maybe. A bitter central midfielder. Is there is there such a player's player role as bitter? I'd like it if there is, mind. Let's go for that. Is there anyone that's played for one of your ex teams? What, in, in our current squad? Uh, she's got a song for the bad seasons, Death by a Thousand Cuts. Oh, there you go. Declan Dunn was on loan at Porter Down once. Oh, but only on loan, though. So. And he's he's a first-team goalkeeper as well, so we don't really want to change a first-teamer, do we? For a Taylor Swift song that I don't understand. Um, let's see. There you go, John Scott. John Scott, former Porter Down lad. 
and he's real as well. Um, yeah, that's it. That's it. I'm afraid. Let's have another. Uh, let's have another Bailey's. I reckon while we're sorting this out. So, cheers, everyone. Where does he play? Is it a bit boho chic? What? Oh, yes. <laughs> I get you, I get you. So there's a comedian called John Scott who, uh, who does does a joke about being a bit boho chic. Um, he once, wore a pair of, once wore a pair of Jesus sandals. Uh, quick review of the new players. So, yeah, Ron, basically what we've got is players are kind of expected, really, to be honest. Declan Dunn is our goalkeeper. He's decent enough. We're just going to lock him down on a new contract keep him beyond the end of the month so he's obviously in goal um Cowlin Marin Caelan Marin if there's anyone Irish in there can sort of like spell this out phonetically for me that'd be really helpful um fullback looks pretty decent to be honest although he can't cross so that's a bit worrying um does try to play his way out of trouble as well which again can also potentially get us into a few little uh, uh sort of mistakes Joy Jones pretty experienced should theoretically be running the uh, running the midfield to be honest he's on a long term contract as well star player shoots from distance tries long range passes likes to switch the ball to the wide areas brings the ball out of defence so he can play centre back midfield if needs be so I think we might need some more centre back uh, some more midfielders to be honest Ben Gallagher can play up top he's a poacher runs with the ball to a centre knocks the balls past opponents cuts inside good first touch good determination good decision making Already scored in his last match as well, so very happy about that. And then out wide, Michael O'Connor. Sorry, not my wide, pressing forward. Michael O'Connor, 11 for finishing. Concentration's dipped a little bit, but he's six foot three, so we can forgive him for that. Good in the air as well, and good heading. Plus, our centre halves have good heading also. Pierce Bird, it's the guy, the big bird, 16 for jump and reach, 13 for heading. So they're probably our best players, really. Reese Campbell is sort of like Super Mark II. So. We're going to have to try and get some players on loan because we don't have any money. As always, we're overspending. So, yeah, I think... I think, realistically, we've we've probably got a team. I think. We might have a team. He says... He always says that. <laughs> I always say this. I'm like, yeah, these guys are fine. And it turns out that they're not fine. So, we'll, we'll see. We'll see what we've got. So, let's have a look then. At home... Uh, sorry, away in fact again, sorry, uh, to, to Banger. Bottom of the table clash. Proper bottom of the table clash right now. We've just beaten... Um, we've just beaten... Uh, Balamina. So let's hopefully push this on. And uh, and get a third win in a row, which would be fantastic. Can we explain Dungannon's struggles away from home? Um, results have been better than performances. Oh, sorry, performance has been better than results. So look at that. Banger. Four defeats on the bounce. We've got we've got a win. We've got a win. Look at that. Two wins. In fact. Flying. Coming in this game on red hot form. A win doesn't quite move us out of the relegation playoff. But it puts a lot of pressure on Balamina. We've already done. We've already won our first game, which of course we hadn't hadn't had until we came here. So that's a huge weight off our backs. So we'll have to see see what happens from here. Marin, ball in. Glenny picks it up, launches it. Mitchell brings it down. Don't get any other ball away though, do we? Expecting a bit of a break on now. Oof. Ooh, that was a bit of a fizzle, wasn't it? Let's, let's get in their faces, shall we? We clear free kick over the top. Corner, in fact. It's a good deflection. He headed away. So we have gone 
lovely, lovely little back heel. We're on traditional uh, route one, by the way, at this point. Ooh, Bry's just gone close to the back post there. Thing is, though, I think route one's potentially not the right move for us because we might oh, give away a penalty. Silly decision at the back post there. One nil, one nil the opposition. Okay, let's take that off. Let's go a bit wider. Got to get some bad blood with the defence after that. Yeah, you better believe it, friendly ghost. It's exactly what I was about to say. Free kick. White could save. Oh, apparently not save. Back to the bottom of the table. All right, let's move up a smidge. And let's get that overlap on the right. Hmm. Dropping in courage as well, actually. Friendly Ghost is tonight's MVP with some outstanding Taylor knowledge. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, if it's if it is all real and it sounds like it is, he's doing he's doing a great job. Let's go and show them what we're about. Come on, we need to do better. How are we gonna change this? So pass in the space, I reckon. Take disciplined off. Let's push a little bit higher, actually. Take get stuck in off. Combi's looking a bit apprehensive, which doesn't really help on the uh, on the left wing. So I might have to try and change something there nice tackle by Jones O'Connor Combi picks it up dreadful ball in made a little bit better though Boys, oh, no, 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 don't do that. We've taken Get Stuck In off, and he goes flying in like that. What a stupid tackle. Absolutely ridiculous. Um, right, that causes some problems now, doesn't it? Yeah, a bit of, of rehydration is not a bad shout. I appreciate that, Dan. Um... Changes up a second. Uh, where can he play? Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. You appear to have had a man sent off, that seems unwise. It's it's not the best idea, is it? Oh, 2 nil. I mean, we never said it was going to be easy, did we? But we're route one. I think we are route one. That's the problem. Mm. Well, cautious what to sit and then just ping the ball over the top. 2 nil down, though. It's like... Tricky now, isn't it? A 
one up top. I don't know if we move another one, move O'Connor back up top. So at least we've got two players to aim for, but. Yeah, maybe. So let's put all three of them up from there. Let's see if that works. Just come back and all he sees a diving header in the box. He's like, oh God, what's happening there? Um, I don't think uh, cautious is working, is it? I think we're gonna have to go a bit higher. Go attacking as well. Might as well lose the game 3-0 rather than 2-0. We've got 10 men. Huge, huge defeat this, like. Just reminds us that we have to start buying players in uh, in January. What a ridiculous sender off, by the way. Absolutely ridiculous. Has Taylor Swift got a song called Stupid Red Card? Oof. Clearly seen red. I find this disappointing. It's a shame. It's a shame, isn't it? That's right, launch it. No one's there though. What about that? Can't, can't forgive any of them. You know what I mean? So we're back at the bottom. Okay. Mitchell's banned for one match. He's clearly going to get a second, isn't he? Straight red. He's bound to get an extra one. Um, so, yeah, I think we need to look for midfielders. Mitchell's saying, I did something bad. Yeah. Exactly that. Exactly that. Do, do that. Do that as a thing. Be like, oh yeah, you sung some bad songs. John McGovern, free agent? Has he been released by Newry? <sighs> Interesting. DJ Pedro. Don't know if we're going to be able to get him in, sadly. Marley Boyce, of course there's a player from middle from Hartlepool for some reason. Just on the uh on the loan list. Of course there is. Um Adam McCaffrey, I tell you what, let's Right. I am tempted to go and get Critaro. See if we can get his. Get him in. Can he play, maybe? That'd be embarrassing if we go and get him and he can't actually play. That'd be the absolute irony of it all, wouldn't it? Be like, oh, for God's sake, Tony, what have you done here? McCaffrey. Maybe get a trial for him, see what he looks like. James and Cancel's done Gannon Day off. Yeah. That's right. They're not getting a day off just yet. <clears throat> Back to the training ground. Because the thing is, now I've got to play Clifton Villa with second. And that's not going to be easy, is it? Let's be honest. That's going to be harder than playing Banger. And now we're playing with 
players who've been sent off as well. Uh, right, Lewis Agnew's going to have to come up, I think. many other options do we we don't have other options well that striker from the off season you tried to get in now come in which one Dennis that's the question we tried a couple didn't we um, I'm not sure which one uh, Shatoyo from uh, from the welders maybe that's a possibility We could maybe get get that. Um, I think we are going to have to. Oh, the one at Newcastle. Oh, he's at Glenavon now. Yeah, that's not a bad shout actually. That's not a bad shout at all. No, Glen Torren. Glen Torren is that, isn't it? Who are of course top of the table, and he is only a fringe player. They do want his wages paying and most of it's yeah, it's unlikely he's gonna come. I'm gonna say no. <laughs> it's probably unlikely he does come, but we can certainly ask the question. See what we get out of it, but yeah, we're gonna have to sit sit deep against Cliftonville, I think. This is gonna be a tricky one. Playing second in the league, it's gonna be Right. Future fee isn't acceptable. Looking for a future fee of 40 grand? That's not happening. And he can't play another competitive match? Nah, fine. He's cup tied as well. So, yeah, we can't get Krataro, unfortunately. So, never mind. And this isn't happening either. He's going to cost too much money. So, yeah. Shame. But, you know. We'll try again. We'll do something different. It'll be okay. Let's see if John Scott wants to go in. He's full back, is he, rather than... Can he go centre-back? At least he's a left-footer there, isn't he? I mean, now's probably not the time to start, like, messing around with... Adding, like, sort of... Should we, should we put a... Uh... Go 4 4 2 4 positive at the beginning, and then drop back to 4 2 4 cautious. Do you think that's the thing, is it? Well, I'm just trying to try hit them early. And then, yeah. I suppose that. There's, there's definitely. It makes sense. Because, you know, to be honest, you know, what, what have we got to lose? What have we got to lose? 4-2-4 four, four with a solid back four. See, solid's the issue though, innit? We don't really have solid. We have we have four players who can play in the back four. I wouldn't necessarily say that makes them solid. Tony, imagine the UK, you don't have to lose. <laughs> nice, good, good, Rogie. I'm a big fan of that. Good punning, very good punning. Uh, is Toulouse a uh, Taylor Swift song? Any chance? I'll have all four on defend. It's no nonsense as well, any no nonsense fullback. Nothing daft fella. Um, Colin Todd doesn't seem to give us anything, does he? Not at all. Not at all. Put Campbell out. I know he's got a. Uh, a knock just a football team that plays in the Toulouse region of France ah okay I like that I like that a lot take short kicks could make us uh, no praise or criticise for players with good form or bad training we've only we've only been here for, for two weeks rather so we haven't been here long enough in order to, to do that unfortunately mate but, oh, don't you worry. We'll be we'll be praising and criticising. 
Don't you worry about that. And by that, I mean mainly criticising at this point. Hmm. Front four attacking, yeah. Right, let's go for it. At home to Cliftonville, this is an absolute free hit. We're not expected to win this at all. So, leftover trifle. Leftover trifle's going good. We've started with... I'm about halfway through now. So, I'm doing decent on it. I'm mm. my second Baileys. Oh. Having a lovely time. Making loads of Taylor Swift references. Well, I'm not, obviously, but everyone else is. Everyone else is, is, having, a, is having a wonderful, wonderful evening. So, I'm more confused by the words leftover and trifle. It's not leftover. It was, it had, it um, hadn't even opened it. It's a brand new one for tonight. I bought it especially. A15 just demolished what was left of a salted caramel cheesecake. Nice work. We are at our second, second beige buffet this afternoon. So, smash through that. Eldest child uh, has discovered he likes pate. So, very happy about that. In the words of Taylor Swift, my child likes pate on toast. I don't know if that's a lyric or not. Probably is. Uh, tell you what, let's remember to take get stuck in off as well actually don't need that on there good block we blocked a ball Jones Gallagher's away Martin Gallagher Connor Campbell Gallagher offside I think cleared away I thought, I thought he was offside to be honest, so I didn't get too excited. But we've had the ball in the opposition half. So very exciting. Geezer Dre in with a three months. Appreciate you, Geezer Dre. Merry Christmas. Pleasure to see you in. Got an actual looks like you should be playing some kind of sadistic serial killer in the movies. Really? I've, uh, I won't surprise you. I've, failed. I've, I've not seen him yet. I've not seen what he looks like. Ball at the top, Gallagher's through. Oh. Ben Gallagher picks it up from that ball from uh, from Jones. Up oh, over the top. That's the kind of passes we want to be playing in this in this league. Look at all that space we didn't have to bother running into or passing. Beautiful, beautiful. The goals never go out of style. Goals could uh, potentially move us up into staying in the division could potentially talking out loud mistakes clearance I'm watching the United versus Forest game as well yeah I saw you there's a couple of, of updates coming through uh, I don't know if you saw I tweeted out the, the other day, yesterday it was. Sat down to watch the Sunderland Blackburn game. 52 minutes in, I got the uh, the littlest one wanted it turned off for YouTube. Thankfully, I didn't miss a 90 second minute winner for Sunderland. I did, I did miss that. So, loving that so far. First half, one nil up, very, very happy indeed. Think if you take over Ipswich, we'll be forcing you to do Ed Sheeran legs. <laughs> At which point, I should be forced to call the police. Well, there you go. Uh, he did. He wasn't in the police, though, was he? The police is is Sting. So I know that. I, I definitely know that bit. But I'll have to try and uh, look for other famous. I could take over Watford. We could do Elton John songs. That'd be good. All the top mate. Brian brings it down. Smacks it over the bar. Chat, I'm playing as Elche with a budget of £4 million. How much is too much for a loan player? 
Four million pound, probably. And usually, yeah, I think that I think the answer there is usually like just try and get them for free. To be honest, you don't want to be paying for loan players unless it's like apps, or unless it's like from Real Madrid or something. And even then, you don't really want to be paying Real Madrid money for their loan players. Get them for free. Bunch of misers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's a cost of living crisis on in our games, unfortunately. But that's the thing. I think like I never understand the the paying for loan players thing. I know it happens in real life a lot, but um, but yeah, try and try and avoid it if you can. Try and take it off. Sometimes it doesn't work, and like, you might end up missing out on a player that you desperately want. Though Donald, like, and you might have to if you think that that is if you think they are the player, the absolute player that's going to make the difference to your save. Then yeah, all right, maybe maybe paying for him is a, is a good idea, but. So you got to think, right, it's 100 grand a month that they want there for the wage. So do that by 12. Oh! Oh! So, so multiply that by 12. Okay. You're essentially paying a transfer. You're, you're paying a transfer fee. You know? And you don't get to keep the player. So, nah. I wouldn't be doing that. I was then having to pay wages. So is Tony when he feels like it. Yeah. Oh, Gallagher. Oh, he's through. <laughs> he's semi-Scottish. The stink of failure is intermittent. <laughs> is £1,000 really, really that bad? £1.2 million for the year doesn't sound bad. All right, so think about this, though, Donald. That it's £1.2 million loan fee, then his wages. And if you've only got a transfer budget of £4 million, that's like a third of your budget gone on a loan player. And is gone. Is is Garancho worth a third of your wage budget, your transfer budget? So that's what you got to ask yourself. Like, could you get? Like, is he gonna is he gonna end up crippling you for a, for a player somewhere else that you need, or are you just trying to sign him because he's new and fancy? Like, I don't know. I've not played, you know, top division, so I don't know if he's any good or not on the game. But that would be my question. You know, like, is he is he better than what Hannibal was last year? Do you know what I mean? Like, I think if you're going to buy a loan or play like that, like, you could still get Hannibal for free. Like, and he could do the business. You know, this, however, is a ridiculous result. Absolutely ridiculous result. Oof. I don't understand how we've done this, chat, but... We're about to beat Cliftonville 2 0. And Cliftonville is second. And we're second bottom. Look at that. We've got ourselves a victory. And I'm not going to say that we've, we've TJ'd it. But we may have struck. We may have struck at just the right time in that match. Tony, some kind of mastermind. Not at all. Not at all. Not at all. Let's have a look at uh, our masterminds of Taylor Swift song. So close. So close. What's O'Connor's contract looking like? He's here till next year. You're on. So apparently, it's been changed from a. He's been changed from star player. So let's. Let's change that back up, I think, to be honest. Giza Dre, hydrate, yes. Appreciate you, Giza. <clears throat> hydrate, of course, that famous Taylor Swift song also. Completely forgot I put in the Discord because it was sleep deprivation. Uh, where, do I, where do I change to first teamer? Training rating 4.95. Oof, you need to book your ideas up, pal. Otherwise, otherwise we're not going to have you as a first teamer. But he looks good. He looks very good. Overview happiness. Appreciate that. Thank you. <clears throat> a 
the fact, doesn't matter how long I've been playing this game, there's still a sort of moment going, where do I click such and such? Nordwolf, appreciate the follow. Very kind, thank you. Welcome in. Regular star, changing back to star player. I should make him happy. There you go, now he's not concerned. Maybe face Cole Rain next. Away from home. So I don't know whether away from home do we go 4-2-4. Four, four. I suppose technically we could sort of just stick as we are, isn't it? Declan Dunn signed a new contract. That's excellent. We need that. We definitely need that. Four points behind Balamina. So it looks like they... Uh, what was the result from the last match? Balamina beat Banger. I think everyone's been saying that, Dan. To be honest, that's that's almost football Twitter now, isn't it? Darwin Nunes is Andy Carroll. You know, and it's fine. There's this like thing is he's actually scored goals though. That's the only problem. But yes, he does look a little bit shit. Like from what I can understand. Grebin, haven't avoided FM since 2011. I've spent the last four days in Donegal binge watching this stuff on my phone. Someone please convince me it's awful and not to buy it when I go home. Can't convince you, Grebin. I appreciate the fact you're in for the first time and going, like, you know, convince me not to buy it, but I really can't. I really can't. Like, I like it. It's good. I think FM23 is very good. Some people hate it, by the way. I'll, I'll warn you right now. Some people think it's really difficult and really hard and really horrible, but that's what I like. That's why I like in a game. I like it to be gritty and awful. I like to feel as though any victory that I've got, I've earned. So yeah, really sorry, but yeah, I think you need to be, I think you need to be doing it. You knew it was trouble when you walked in, says Friendly Ghost. And I think that might be, is Taylor Swift, maybe, possibly, surely. If you've got Game Pass on your PC, you don't need to spend £40 on it. It's included in the sub. As Rogi found out only recently, despite having Game Pass for God knows how many years. So there you go. Um, Adam McCafferty, could you be... See, look, this is the thing, uh, Donald. Even here, I'm sat going, I'm not having a future fee. I'm not paying 30 quid a week wages either. No chance, no chance whatsoever. Uh, you must have no more than six players over the age of 22 on loan from a foreign club. Right, okay. Hmm. Okay. One near match, Carthel Farron from Dollinstown. Seven goals in 14. Former Dungannon. Interesting. Andrew Clark. Andrew Clark looks alright, doesn't he? From Linfield. There's no chance we're going to get him. fringe player, though. Would he be interested in dropping down then? Maybe. Possibly. We'll have to see. Kieran O'Connor. 30 year old. Where's he play? Where's his main position? Ball in a midfielder. Shallow striker. Pressing forward. Is he a forward or is he a midfielder? He's out of contract in December, though. His finishing's not great, so he's maybe not a striker. Passing's not brilliant, so he's maybe not a midfielder. Tackling's not great. And to be honest, there's not really... Yeah, there's not much we need there, then, is there? All the things that we need out of him, he can't really do. Sadly. Lyle McGinley, good first touch. Passing's not great though. Decent leadership. Oh, Tom Matcheson. We looked at him at uh, when we were at Port Down, didn't we? 
hate parts of FM23 like absent-minded players that forgot to play football for 10 minutes. There is, there is a few of those. There's a few of those little bits. He's a great striker to drop deep. Which one? They... O'Connor. And what, what, and play him as a pressing forward and defend? Or play him as like a DLF? Maybe. His wages are reasonably high. Let's keep him on the shortlist then. If you think that's a decent target man support. Okay. Okay, we'll have a little look at that then. That could be a thing. Could be a thing. Lee Lynch from Coleraine. Good first touch, good passing, good vision, good work rate, good technique. Good off the ball. 35 years old. Have his legs have his legs gone. He's played 13 games for Coleraine already this season. We're not paying 300 quid of his wages, that's for certain. You like him? That's good enough for me. That's good enough for me. I like this guy, Dylan Berry. Six foot six, 23. 2028. Hoy and Hull, obviously as well. Still very much an option. Actually, what are our staff like? Not great. We could get another squad. We could get another scout in, and a director of football. Let's place those adverts out there, shall we? Let's see what comes out. Let's see if anything comes back. It's like that Taylor Swift song, isn't it? Um, Looking for a director. Brackets of football. Have we got a senior affiliate? I don't think we do. No, we don't. We don't. And the thing is, we're in... So I don't know how a senior affiliate would really work because we're in the, the premiership. Because obviously there... It would have to be someone like, I think, uh, Porter Down, we had Burnley. And, of, and plus, we've only, just, we've only just turned up, so they're not going to... They're not going to give us one just yet. I think we've very much got to try and uh, prove ourselves at this point. My Irish Premier League save. I got Celtic, which helped a lot. That would help a lot. That absolutely would help a lot. I mean, we could ask, but I've got a feeling they're going to laugh at us. Youth intake. Excellent intake. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Surely Taylor Swift would be a winger. I'm thinking, right? If we're going to do that and and start uh... start renaming players, maybe. No attacking midfielders, sadly. Not good. But. Goalkeepers, centre midfielders, wide midfielders, wingers, all A stars or A A, a stars, yeah, uh, A star raid. Centre backs a B, full backs and strikers a C. Sadly, simple man Perry in with a prime. Appreciate that. Thank you very very much indeed. Taylor Swift's a trequartista, no hard work. Again, maybe a reference, possibly. Don't know. Couldn't tell you. Dara McBride is currently playing as an advanced playmaker. No, he's not. Is he? I haven't got an advanced playmaker on, surely. Surely I haven't got a playmaker. I have. Oh, Jesus. I don't think I meant that. Take gets stuck in off as well. 
Mitchell, do we bring him back into the fold, possibly? After his uh, after his red card? I guess we can bring him on the bench, can't we, just in case we need him. Who's Mooney wanted by? Queen's Uni. Come on then. Same same side that uh, that's just won their last match. Back to back matches against Coleraine. We all call rain after what happened last time. Go for it. One win and two wins in the last five. We've got three wins in the last five. Right, a win still is not going to get us out of the bottom here. Long ball way over the top. Kane's down the wing. Back inside. Playing the block. Marin hasn't really cleared it. Oof. The win is not to be trifled with. Exactly, Grebin. Exactly. Vic and Bob and another one. Should put him in custody. Bird clears it. Campbell. Nice interception by Agnew. That gives the ball away though. Headed by Glennie. I was going to say this has goal written all over it, doesn't it? Josh Daniels smacks into the top corner. Simon Lomas. The Simon Lomas. The actual Simon Lomas. Comedy Simon Lomas. Simon Lomas, if that's you, reach out to me. Say hello. If it is, by the way, Simon's one of the funniest comedians I've seen in a long, long time. It is. It is, right. Now, look, you know what? I don't know if he's going to be doing Twitch or not, but if he is... You need to get on board with it, right? But Lawmass is like fucking superb. Follow him on Twitter. He's uh he's the man. He's the man. What's up, motherfucker? Merry Christmas to you, my man, by the way. Welcome in. It's um oh, here we go, Ben Gallagher. That goes for you, Mr. Lawmass. Um yeah, basically, Merry Christmas, my friend. So what happens here, Lawmass, right, is that obviously once the pandemic hit and comedy died. I didn't really get back to do much comedy, so I sort of took up this instead. And I've basically spent the last couple of years hanging out here, really, to be honest, just playing footy manager. And we've built ourselves a rather nice community, really. It was really lovely. And three nights a week, I come in here and we just chat some shit and we play video games. So it's pretty good. And I don't have to leave my house either. So, so yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad. I hope you're well, though, buddy. Genuinely, it's, it's so nice to see you in. It really is. As I say, if you you should get on board with this as well, but you'd be great at it. So yeah, go and go and follow uh, follow Simon on, on Twitter as well. By the way, he had that. Uh, you probably saw it actually. There was a, a tweet went viral a little while ago. The uh, it's a me, it's a Mario from the uh, oh that was Lawmasters prepping the new British Steel comedy tour. Maybe yeah, probably possibly. And just sadness from, from city to city you know your new claim to fame you gotta get it done you gotta get it done you know you get these viral moments you gotta, gotta capitalise on it right great tweet as well this is this is a bit two down right what are we gonna do how are we gonna change this up a bit more try and bring ourselves out a bit we're cautious a bit but let's go balanced oh no Oof. Uh, we are 4-2-4 already friendly that's the problem we've started 4-4-2 so we've got nowhere to go at this point 
we've dropped it from cautious to balanced though, so we're changing up a little bit there. There inside. Ooh, should have been three. Um, I don't want to go double wingers on the inside. Let's go wider. See if that helps as well. Go positive. Go positive in a um, in a, in capitals is a Taylor Swift song. Jamstock, how did we get the Dungannon job? I've got no idea. I've got no idea. Especially after they beat us 4-1 in the cup. It was bizarre that they went, that's the guy for us. So, yeah, they went straight in and just went, yes, please, we'll have you. So it's all a bit weird, isn't it, this game? It's all very, very weird. But we've, um, but we've got ourselves off the bottom of the league, though. We've won some matches, which obviously they didn't have before we turned up. So already we're better than the last manager. We did, of course, lose to the team who are now bottom in Bangor, which, you know, that was... It's one of those things. They've obviously looked at it and just went, who's going to get us off the bottom of the table? Who's good in relegation battles? I don't know, TJ. He's decent at that. A stroke of luck. Yeah. A broken clock is right, is right twice a day. That's essentially where we've got to. Oh, pick that one out. Don't think 4 2 4 is working at this point. Because we're not getting the ball out to the wide players. Actually, we're not getting the ball, to be honest. Yeah, there's just too much space in the midfield here. Um, so I don't know whether to drop players back. Yeah, I might drop the wingers and the midfielders back and go to like a sort of Pull it back there. Like that. Do it that way. Turn him on a winger on support. And then try and hit the counter. 3 1 down, though, it's like I'm trying to play counter attack football at this point. We've only had two shots. Glenn, he's now losing confidence. Excellent. Off you get then. Um, Agony, you can come off. Play our defence, distribute the defenders. You reckon? Do you reckon we're going to be able to do this? There's only one way to find out, isn't there? Crusaders are. Uh, have dropped. Balamina must be winning again. I know it's probably the wrong time to start looking at other teams' results, but you get a bit of a steer as to what we need to do as we're leading up to the uh, January transfer window. We're down with the ball at the top. McKendry? McKendry? Kane. McKendry. Oh, what a save. What a save that is. Right, let's go balanced, actually. Give a bit more shouting out. So what's that? Five points from away from Crusaders, is it? I think it possibly is, isn't it? Kane down the wing. Stand him up. It's just not clear. It's clear straight to them. Oh. Shocking. Absolutely shocking. Even all the pilgrim. Yes, absolutely. Normal service is resumed. <laughs> is resumed. Um, it's very much one of those performances. Very, very much one of those performances. Um, good ball at the top, though. Connor. Connor's on a 6-3 as well. He's not really playing very well. But he is, he's probably our main goal scoring out, outlet. Or threat. Mitchell, go and get the ball in. You and that keeper are never getting back together. Yeah, uh, reference? Reference. 
Well, back in Mitchell. We'll get the ball forward. Over the top. Beautiful ball. Get it in. Oh. Offside. Just that much. It's a trifle's distance. Um, right, Dean's not having a great time at centre half. We don't have another one to bring on. Uh, for actually, yeah, he's having a dreadful match now because he's just flashed up. He's gone to to red, so let's get him out. And also, let's try this. Disallow goals, everyone. <laughs> Cool, aren't they? Totally cool. Everyone loves a disallowed goal. Glacken smacks it over the top. No about me trifle. Game's lost. Four-one down. It's probably gonna get worse, though, isn't it? No, well defended. Oof. All right, I'm Gallagher soon. Oh, I've missed it. Can't believe it. I thought we had something there. Sadly, not. Gallagher doesn't go for it either. Oh, hang, on. hang on. Oof. I just want you to know that, is, that this is me trifle. This is my trifle. There are many others like it. But I know this one is mine. So it's totally called Apocalypse Now with trifle based stuff. Yeah, I am. Yeah, I am. That's the sort of references I can get. Trifleman's Creed. corner I thought it was offside actually what's on the trifle just standard just standard Tesco's cheap oh my god it's just strawberries jelly um, custard sponge and cream so nothing too fancy and a and a Bailey's as well because you know Christmas and that innit I must master the trifle as I must master my life 424 wide diamond and 5 1 down. It's pretty shocking, isn't it? The ne next match is against Dungan, against Colrain, sorry. So I think next match we uh, we play six at the back because they've done everything against us, haven't they? Shocking. Shocking performance. Evening, Abe. How are you, buddy? Welcome in. need to uh, have another look <laughs> and see what we can do uh, very well very well thank you Abe. how are you Merry Christmas brother hope you had a hope you had a lovely time I should point out as well by the way that um, that Mrs J purchased the um, what's it called the Richmond shirt from Ted Lasso that was one of her Christmas presents for me this year so I'm going to hang that up in the stream for a little bit Replace the uh, replace the Peterborough one. Sometimes I feel I've wasted my life on references, and then I think of another one to post. I mean, to be fair, it's it's got me. Like you know what I mean? It's got me all the way through. So I'm uh, I, I'm I'm really not the one to be to be sort of like using it on. So I can't really can't really give you anything right now. If one Mrs. J could source an odd hoodie. Yeah, but the odd things, the odd thing is, uh, I think that might be, I think that might be over, actually, because um, unfortunately, Ropper no longer works there, so I don't really know what's going to happen with the odd thing going forward. So we'll we'll sort of hang hang with it for now, but yeah, 
maybe we uh, maybe we might be sort of like seeing that drop off a little bit. So we shall see. We shall see. Uh, all sevens in the in the chat. Yeah, exactly. Big tens for Bob for uh, Bobby Coppin as well. By the way. Bobby Coppin. Oh, what a man. What a man. Loved him. Loved him as if he was my own son. And you know what? If he was, then... How good How good would that be? Oh geez, do remember. We've had some we've had some times, haven't we? We have had some times. McCaffrey's deals negotiated. I mean look, it's not gonna work. It's not gonna work, right? But you know what? Keep the optional fee on there, because you can have that, that's fine. We ain't gonna pay it. We're not paying wages for anybody. Make it stop. So my plan is so we've got Colrain next and then we've got then we've got Linfield oh dear like it just doesn't come nothing's coming easier is it really you know we're uh, we're in for a tough run has it, has it been 18 months since I subscribed I know it's it's weird isn't it like I still don't understand how it's been almost two years since we started streaming that was the that's the crazy thing wasn't it like going back to like oh let's stream a save a Sunderland that sounds a really good idea and then all of a sudden oh let's get sacked by Sunderland oh wait here's the shirt turning up that's awkward um yes Abe you're right yes yeah, two on Sunderland not a bad result it would have been brilliant had I have seen the second half but my children insisted on watching millionaire kids from the Ukraine who live in Dubai opening presents. So sadly, I missed the second half and the 92nd minute winner. So yeah, a bit, bit frustrating that one, isn't it? Bit frustrating. But um, great result though. Great result. Tony Mowbray's Revels based army is having a great time. So <clears throat> keep it going. Keep it going. Go four two two two. I suppose that's not right. A deep four four two, really, uh, with double DMs. Players are a bit unsure, but look, we owe them after what's happened last time. All right. I expect solid work, control the midfield, and actually score some goals, please. Brazilian Fury, welcome in. What's going on? Good question. Good question, Brazilian Fury. We moved, didn't we? We moved to Dungannon, as you know, on the last day of uh, of the last part of last stream. So this is us trying to get ourselves comfortable or at least trying to get ourselves to the January transfer window in which case we can start then trying to buy some players or at least bring players in on loan we've moved off the bottom as you can see although we did just get beat 5-1 off Colrain and we've got to play them again so this is sort of where we are new club for season 5 well yeah we're halfway through season 5 so Porter Down didn't quite work out at the start of the season to be honest it was um, we thought we recruited well Oh, it just didn't happen. It just didn't happen. Whatever it was, was just not for us. And, um, yeah, watered down. Yeah, watership down, more like. And, um, yeah, it was just not good. It wasn't good. So, yeah, here we are instead. Fingers crossed for battle moving forward. Well, exactly, that's the thing. So what we've done, Brazilian Fury, is we've moved... We've actually gone into the premiership so we've moved up a division granted they were bottom of the league with no wins when we took over but they're also in the final of the middle to cup having beaten porter down in the semi-finals so there is some absolute narrative already for you so you can have a bit of that so there's a potential that we might actually be in the mix for a trophy which we weren't able to be in for the porter down where we are now one nil down uh, against Colrain. going to be a long save this isn't it it's going to be a long save why did we think this was going to be a a good idea doing this British Steel challenge 
So already I've, I've identified we need a midfield and a defence. Surely we can we can sign both in the in the in the January transfer window, right? Yeah. Get both of those things. Oh, oh, you like it, dear? Nice. I appreciate that because yeah, because you did the uh, you did the old one. Jebra, Jebra did the original one, by the way, just in case anyone uh, didn't know. But, yeah, we figured we'd uh, we'd try and spice it up a little bit and, and update things, give things a bit of a fresher look. Um, I need to redo the silent celebration and the heads and hands emote as well so I'll take some new pictures for that um, McGeady's are still there obviously 2-0 2-0 evening Owen how are you buddy welcome in I mean what can we do what can we do that's gonna work I don't know we've definitely turned up to a club we've got very 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 low morale there's some new ones as well, by the way, Jebri. I've put some new ones in there. So here's your uh, your new emotes. Let's see what else we've got here. Look at all them. Look at all them. Different ones. You're on your own. <laughs> yeah, I, I I sort of feel that, to be honest. I, I, I feel as well. That's very much the situation now. Um... I think if we can get two midfield, two decent centre midfielders, we move Jones to centre half. Um, but at the minute, I don't, I don't think that's even an issue, is it? Or even a consideration. Sounds like the wildest dream there, Tony. <laughs> I mean, reference, possibly. Ball at the top, O'Connor takes one touch, too heavy a touch, sadly. Do you think you'll complete the challenge before FM24 comes out? No, no, I don't. <laughs> Not at all. I think this is a very much a, oh, well, we tried challenge. And um, yeah, we'll, we'll have to go into FM24 with a new, a new save idea. But it's fine though, at least we gave it a go. You know, it's better than being like, oh, you know, let's be Man United and see how far we can get. So, both of those were references. I missed it both. Missed it. Damn. Oh, nicely turned. Gallagher. McBrien. Oh, I can't get the ball back inside, though. Hmm. Okay. I think we might have to start thinking about a new style of play. Because I don't think low block is really the way to go with this team. Or is it? Or is it? I don't know. Maybe I've got to try and do something a bit more, a bit fancier. I mean, Yeren's already mentioned a, a 4 4 2 wide diamond. Quite the sound of the diamond worked well at posh. We knew we, we did well there. Oof. We could go with diamond in the second half. It's over the top. Mm -hmm. Evening King's Dreams, welcome in. Nice to see you. Big first timer getting some. Medals or flames, possibly. It's a good, it's a good entrance. Right, let's have a look and see what we can get. So I think we drop Jones in the midfield, in the defence. Sorry, we put Convy up top there. Brian and Campbell do that. Combi goes as the shadow striker. DM there. 
sure you say. Possession style. Pass in the space. So obviously what I've done is I've taken um, taken Mooney off the bench this time. So we're gonna have Convy's gonna play just behind. Let's see how that works. It's good a chance as any in it at the end of the day. Like you know, what's the worst thing that can happen? Worst thing that can happen is it doesn't work. Best thing that happens, you know, we pull it back and it's 2-2. As long as it doesn't end 5-1, we should be all right. King's Dreams, appreciate the follow as well, by the way. Very kind, thank you. Oof, good save. Jones gets the ball out. You know, let's make him as a DLP. Let's see if he can get the ball out and about. Marin. Jones, Scott, thinks about it. Oh, well, the top one's there. Campbell's not going for it. Benny, Jones, O'Brien, O'Connor, straight at the keeper. It's a sign of intent though. It's not positive, why not? And we're many, many points away from the title at this point. Great tackle. Oof. Off the bar. Make ourselves go a bit wider as well, actually. When did the last whole of the team meeting? Well, I mean, we've, we've, to be fair, we've only been here like about four weeks, Pilgrim, so not not yet. The team meeting was me, was me basically being introduced to the club. So, it's a... Uh, yeah, we've only just taken over, so a lot of the problems this time aren't of my doing at the minute. At the minute. No. Going forward, then absolutely they're gonna be my problem. I mean we've we're slightly better in the second half than we're in the first. Certainly better than we were in the uh, in the first match. Who are we gonna bring on? Agnew, I guess, for Jones, isn't it? I think this is where we're gonna gonna concede a third. Heads away. Offside. Come on, one more. Thing is as well, we're like we've got a minus eight goal difference as well, so that's also going to be an issue. Campbell can't even get that little bit of fortune. Oh, oh. great save! This is this has been better than I expected it to be. At the minute, we're drawing the, we're drawing the second half nil nil, so. Let's see if this is a great ball at the top. Combi's through. Oof. Has Yaron stumbled across something here? It'd be great if you have Yaron. Brennan thinks about it. Bird. Yeah, we'll give it a try. I mean, you know, next match is against Linfield, so again, we'll not necessarily... Like, we'll try it. We're not going to discount if it doesn't work, but we'll certainly give it a go. See what it looks like, but... 
I mean, look, we know, we know we've got a 4-4-2. We know we've got, like, a flat 4-4-2. We know we've got a 4-4-2 with a DM. Or with double DMs, I should say, sorry. Question now is, can we get something that's a little bit more attacking? Oof. Is this what we need? 10 attempts, 7 on target. That's not bad for a team, for a team that's basically been muscled out of it. It's all about getting a balance. It is, and also as well as remember that, like, you know, that we are... We are now in, like, a... You know, we're in the Premiership now. So, like... Different challenges. You know, can we play football now? Who knows? Is this the time to start experimenting with short passing? Oof. Weird, right? Obviously, now we've got that deeper sitting DM. It does almost nullify there. Um, oof. Oh, yeah, we've got, so we've got a shadow striker there, so it's up against their DM, so at least there's someone playing there. Putting a bit of pressure on, whereas before, if we're in a flat 4 4 2, then there's, he's sort of got all the, he's got the ball and loads of space to himself, hasn't he? So, got top corner for the free kick, that would be nice, wouldn't it? Just lose the game 2 1, but like, finish on a bit of a high. Brennan. Oh, decent effort. Premier League release players will 100% work. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Like, January is going to be about loan players. Try and get some loans in to shore up the, the midfield and the defence. That was a better second half. That was much better second half. Everyone's unhappy because I said they did well. Brilliant. Uh, and now we're about to play Linfield. So things could potentially get worse. But, you know what? That had potential, actually. Didn't it? And it was with a high line as well. You never did say they did well if they lost the overall game, but yeah, and see why you praise them. Yeah, exactly, yeah. A winning you'll be out of the woods. Yes, yes, exactly. Like the song from Taylor Swift about the woods, maybe? She got a song about the woods? She got a song about a hunter cutting trees down. Maybe, I, I don't know. We'll have to see. I praised them because it wasn't it wasn't a 5-1 defeat like it was the last time. Right, can we have a team meeting? No, there's no suitable reason. I mean, apart from the fact that everything's a bit crap, that's that's the reason. Hmm. Suitable time, maybe. Um, tell you what, let's do a bonding session rather than rather than tactics. Community outreach over Christmas. See if that helps them. recommendations goalkeepers I'm not fussed about goalkeeper just yet Reese Hanna I mean that would be a turnaround for the books wouldn't it bringing him in Lee Black does he look all right want to buy Dragida Six foot two, 19. Good first touch. Passing's not brilliant. Teamwork's good, though. 
decent amount of flair. Don't know if that's going to be a good thing or a bad thing. McCaffrey also looks sort of decent. Alex Nolan. He might be all right. Keen Dillon. Not really for me. At this point. Let's take the look at defenders. McMullen we know about. Robert Moyanen. 13 for jumping reach. Headings not bad. Teamwork's all right. Billy Kennedy. Tim Mumford. Bring his son in as well. Six foot. 20 years old. Sligo Rangers. Paddy Porter, Joel Reynolds. Hmm. I think if we can muddle on to ja to January, then we can sort of like take a bit of a a step back and go right. This is where we need to address. We need new players in. Who can we bring in? You know, what's the right way of doing it? Who's the best players to get? As I say, it's all about loans though. Now, if we can get anybody in. That'll be good. It's a big if though, isn't it? Evening Lalozian, how are you? It's difficult. It's difficult is how it is at Dungannon. We've had an up and down performance. Two is better than one. So we started off, we've got a win, which they didn't have before we joined the club. Right. Then we got a defeat, they had loads of them. Then we got another win against Cliftonville, and then we've had two more defeats. So, sadly, the uh, oh, and they beat Bambridge as well in the Mid Ulster Cup. So it's a hundred percent narrative. Their Mid Ulster Cup, uh, Cup run. But yeah, we're about to play Linfield now. So, evening, Limo. Merry Christmas to you, sir. Hope you're well. I'm sure, you all are. But if you're not following Limo, then. Uh, Merry Christmas to you, sir. Get the feeling 442 doesn't work this year. Um, I'm not sure about that. Like, I think for for where we are with this club, maybe not. Maybe we need to, to tweak a few things. So we'll change it up. We'll do it a little bit differently. We'll go 4-4. We'll go uh, in that diamond to see how that works with this, uh, this setup against Linfield. So... I mean, look, it's a free hit, in it? To be honest, we know we're expected to lose. So we just just have to see what happens, you know? Give them give them a game and say, look, let's, you know, try and do what we can do. If we get hammered, we get hammered. If we don't, we don't. You yeah. know? Just got to give it a go. And to be fair, we're probably expected to take a battering. Probably. Ethan, how are you, buddy? Welcome in. What time are streaming until? Uh, probably about midnight, I would say. Ethan, to be honest, maybe a little bit before, but yeah, normally about midnight. So we should be on for a little while longer. So, but then again, it depends upon how bad the performances go. If the performances get worse, we'll be straight off and be like, oh, bad decision this. But. I think, yeah, get us to Christmas, then we can start having a look at, at, at sort of transfer targets and stuff. That's the plan. Oh, that's a horrible tackle. Disgusting tackle. Red card, absolutely. Killian Connolly, off you go, mate. Now, do we look like we move up from quarters or do we stay? Oh, Gallagher. Side. Oof. Get at them. See, this is the thing, like, I'm thinking we could, but then do we leave ourselves exposed? That's the, uh, that's the worry, isn't it? Oh, 
Mooney flicks it on. I did something bad right there. Reference? Good ball to Tom Gallagher. Penalty. <laughs> Goal instead. We'll take that. Right, you know what? Get the hooches on. Hooch celebratory remotes as well. 1 0 up against Linfield. Oof, nobody saw that coming. Definitely not ourselves. Definitely not us. I feel like we should just now like lock it down and like try and grind out this 1 0 win. Hold on for what we've got. Callagher with a high foot there. Ball on the top. Nice block. Actually, yeah, tell what, let's let's do that. Let's. Just regroup for a little bit. Let's hold ourselves tighter. Don't need to be doing silly things just yet. Let's see out the see out the half. Right, they've got nobody on that right hand side, so we need to start putting the ball down there, don't we? Essentially. It was the anti-hero who created bad blood between the two sides. So you, they've mentioned this anti-hero already, Pilgrim, and I think that that's a reference, isn't it? That must be a reference. I, at first, I thought, yes, I am an anti-hero, uh, but then apparently that was that was something that Taylor Swift had said. And I didn't realise. How foolish of me! Right, we're going to go attack as well and really force into that area. I think. Maybe even overlap on the right as well. McBrien pings the ball in. O'Connor, McBrien again. Drives forward, penalty. Oh, here we go, here we go. O'Connor, the price is right. It was Des O'Connor that did The Price is Right, wasn't it? That, that's my level of, of reference. None of these Taylor Swift things. Let's do Des O'Connor references. No, it wasn't. No, it was, for, was it Forsyth? Forsyth did The Price is Right. Which one did Des O'Connor do? Leslie Crowther. I've really got myself wrong there, haven't I? Oh, hang on. McCann's through, off the bar. What's the one with, um, what was Des O'Connor, what did he do? Please tell me he didn't do a bad thing. Is that a reference? Get a sub on in a second as well. Wilson Reed, over the top, Forsyth and Crowther both did it. There, see? See? Thought so. Take your pick. I mean, this, this, by the way, this is celebration. Is that one? Raw goal. Three points against Linfield. Nobody would have predicted that. Did help the fact that they were they were out of ten men, but even still, we've got to do we've got to do well. Still got to see that game through. Three points now behind Ballymena. New Drew at Cliftonville. So we could potentially, we have the potential to be out of the relegation playoffs at Christmas. But it's requiring two more wins, I think. Warren Point, Glen Avon, and then Glen Torren. Ninth, fourth, and first. It's a 
a lot. So it's a, that, there's, it's a huge, huge expectation now, isn't it? I mean, those games, like, you don't want any of them. You don't want any of those games right now. Or do we? Because I guess we're going into those matches, like, expecting to lose. So it's sort of like, nah, if we lose, we lose, like, whatever. You know, there's no re major issue. So because we're the underdog, are we actually going in? Is this the best for us? Maybe it is, actually. Taro's on the uh, he's got 10 goals in 19 games krataro has been great sadly we can't get him back though because he can't he can't play again until next season he's already played for two clubs so we can't even go and loan him back O'Connor in the uh, team of the week this week See what we've got then in this uh, meeting, shall we? I'm trying to get rid of Mitchell. I'm trying to get Minis. Recruitment focus is still there. Timothy's not going to show up either at the minute. Let's see what we've got. Right, let's change it. I don't think we want a goalkeeper actually. Okay. I think what we need is defender central midfielder on oh, sorry central defender on loan and also a dm on loan bob monkhouse the most underrated one wasn't a bad actor either was in jonathan creek was he was he in jonathan creek he was a brilliant comedian is what he was he was so good He was an incredibly funny man. Oh, the Farron. Let's see what there is here. Connor Hanlon. He's not too bad, is he? Heading 16, jumping reach 12. Determination, teamwork, passing's okay. Tackling's not bad. He's already on the shortlist, that's fine. No, I like him. Sam Anderson. I mean, they're recommending Kieran Evans, that's, that's interesting. Okay, let's end that for now then. Let's see what they can pull back from there. Hopefully we can get some some better ideas that can sort of like show up before before the transfer window opens. Because yeah, these guys, nothing's really jumping out here, is there? Really. Now McGinchley. What is he? Central mid playmaker possibly. Terrace Clark. Again, they want money, don't they? Yeah. Lee Lynch, again, they want money. He's not going not to come. Never mind. This is Scouting Range Limited in Northern Ireland. Most of the players are going to make a difference come from England. I think at the minute it will be because obviously we've only just taken the the, uh, the club on. So it will change, I'm guessing, when we uh, when we go and have a look at the, um, in December. So contracts expire at the end of the year. They will be, we're gonna have a look, but we're over budget at the minute as well. So bringing players in is gonna be tricky for paying for them, hence why we're looking for loans. In terms of players that we're losing, we've, we've re-signed our goalkeeper. So that's kind of a good thing, we're not, we're not out with a goalkeeper in uh, in December, which will be a massive problem, to be honest. 
I think we've got one player who might be leaving on a, on a free contract, but it doesn't look like a player that we'd be using. So Rick Mail and Jack Diggle both awesome, and Jonathan Creek as well, as was Aid Edmondson. Now there's see, there's three three top quality comedians right there, isn't it? Mail, Ding, and Edmondson. There's a lot, a lot of talent there. Rick Mail, absolutely one of my top three, I reckon. Well, Jack D's got to be up there as well, mind. So Dungannon in yellow, by the way, uh, at this point. Warren Point in blue. The win doesn't necessarily move us out of the, uh, out of the bottom three. I think, in fact, to be honest, I don't think it does. I think we would need to win. Ballymena would have to lose. We'd have to win by quite a decent goal scoring margin. They'd have to lose by quite a decent goal scoring margin as well because their um, goal difference is probably better than ours. But definitely better now that we're 1 0 down. Bugger. Evening, Lioness. How are you? Merry Christmas. Hope you're well. Hope life's treated you good. Hope you had a decent festive period. Ballymena are losing as well, that's the thing. So, yeah, we need to turn this around. It's not, not, uh, is that a pumpkin jumper? No, 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 it's not a pumpkin jumper. This is a, this is a, a, a Christmas, Christmas jumper with a roaring fire and an additional uh, stocking attached to it. 2 0 down now. Ugh. Bill Bailey was in as well, was he? Jonathan Creek seems to be like the uh, the stand-up special then. What are we going to do? What are we going to do that's going to change this then? 2-0 down already. Everyone's... Experiments, isn't it? It's all experiments with new pl new players and systems and Seeing who's, who can work where. O'Connor, great ball at the top. McBrien, thought about it. Oh, come on. Nice to see you up Northern Ireland. Yeah, we're still here. We're still here. Although I don't know how much longer Northern Ireland wants us to be here, to be honest, but we are going to be here for a long time coming still. Gallagher, back inside to McBrien. Gives the ball away. Just needs, just needs something to go right for us. Oof. Dean gets the block on it. Play the deep four four two and funnel the player down the middle. So I actually, like what? So like force the ball down the middle, yeah. he doesn't play there though but never mind get the ball up over the top go on Gallagher get on him get on him there you go in the middle of the pitch okay that makes sense ball out to McBride oof so he's putting the ball back in there. O'Connor. Mooney. Ball through. Campbell. Oh. Friendly ghost. That was for you. That one's for you. Nice ball over the top from Marin. Campbell thinks, I can see someone in the middle. There's Gallagher. Tucks that one home. Keep winning the home games. We should be okay. Well, possibly. We are currently sat bottom, so that is a difficult thing to say. And now we're losing 3 1. So. Just not, not really picking any boat, will we? Dreadful goal to concede, really, when you think about it. 
presumably banger are uh, winning as well. Or at the very least drawn. Dunn launches it. O'Connor's got it. He's through. <laughs> oh, what's that? The old American Route 1, is it? It's not quite Route 66. Coming through. That's the kind of goals I want to see. Do you know what I mean? There's your goal of the month contender right there. Come on. We owe them. We owe them. We can do this. Surely. Anybody else worried that O'Connor's got a yellow card? I'm quite worried. Mooney's got a 6 9. He's playing defensive mid and, he, and he's meant to be a shadow striker. That's interesting. Birdie and Marin are both on 6 5s. Glennie's on a 6 3, so Glennie's going to have to come off now. Not playing well at all. If you can stop conceding absolute sitters like the number three, it might work. Yeah. It's all big ifs, isn't it? It's all, I, think it's, I think it's confidence. I think it's confidence with these players. Oh! That's a sitter. In the grand scheme of things, that's a sitter. Um, corner kick. Campbell. O'Connor heads away. Oh, missed the tackle. Anderson's through. Pulled him up. Oof. Not fair enough, he's going to go from there. Right, what can we make? What changes can we make? Um. Let's try this, I guess. Let's see if anything can work here. We're going to lose the ball in the midfield, but... McBrien. Asymmetrics. Decent flick on. He's not got back, was he? Get the ball back through. I reckon that there's there's a shot in this. Come on. <laughs> I knew there was a shot in it. I knew there was. didn't necessarily think it was going to be like that, but I knew that something would come from it. Take that. Absolutely will take that now. Force play in the middle for the next match. Oh, yeah, we didn't do that, did we? Actually, no, we did, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. Ball's cleared. Oh, here we go. Gallagher's away. Oh, just needs to get past his man. Respect the point, exactly. Exactly, respect the point. Not just yet, though. Jones launches it. There's Convy. Handball, possibly. Campbell. 
Oh, he's gone down. Red? Maybe? He's gone. He's gone. Change for now. Then who's gonna who's gonna come on? Let's put them back up there again, like that. Um, and then let's put Evening Keeney. How are you? Welcome in. I guess we put that like that. Maybe let's sit there. Go for it. Welcome in, Keeney, by the way. First time in. Nice to see you. Hope you're well. A free kick. Here we go. Mooney dinks it above the top. Keeper's got it. Respect the point. Respect the point. We'll take that. Yeah. Yeah, we came back from... Was it 3-1 down? Yeah, we fought well. We fought well. I'm good, thank you, Keeney. Very good indeed. Christmas is Christmas is done. I think so. This is our this is our unofficial Christmas party. So we're uh, finishing that. That Lewis has got four goals today. So he's definitely uh, he's definitely starting for uh, Glenn Torren, isn't he? Ten goals now in uh, in in fourteen. So yeah, he's a he's a decent player, isn't he? He's decent. Good results. We've got goals in the team. We have we haven't got defensive stability. That's what we obviously need to work out. So. As long as we can stop conceding silly goals, we might be all right. We might be all right. Let's go with the two at the go with the two in the mid in the midfield for uh, for this one against Glen Torren. Sit, uh, sit a bit defensive first of all. See if we can grind something out. Sorry, Glen Avon first, then Glen Torren. What a Christmas schedule. Oh, yeah, funnel in the middle. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Good shout. New centre back needed. I hate the dotted lines. Yeah. I mean, to be, to be fair, Dean's not brilliant. Um, so, yeah, we do need a centre back. And then we need someone who can sit in, in the centre midfield who's, who's good enough to play alongside Jones, I think. So, that's going to be something else that we're going to have to look at to be honest and if we can find someone who's going to be decent to play up front then, then great I mean is Ferris going to come for free no he's not McGinley not really so yeah so we want to sort of look for someone who can play DM as well I think it's going to be a case of just taking a guess, to be honest. Do the old trick of, well, what does the, uh, what's the director of football say? Nothing. Great. Basically says you're on your own, gaffer. Which is fine. We can do that, but it's going to be a bit of a, a bit of guesswork. In fact, actually, we are trying to bring some players in, uh, some, some staff in, so Gary Montgomery, James Blackledge, Jackie Chalmers, Gavin Campbell, Graham Henderson, Jimmy McCurr, Colin McClellan, Stephen, Stephen Glasgow. It's not a real name, is it? Absolutely flew to a port down, had five players main career debuts after joining in January, all did well. That's what you want. That's exactly what you want. Blackledge, I guess, is sort of the closest. This is Glasgow, actually. He probably is the best one, isn't he? Judging player playability and potential, both for fives. Negotiation, determination is decent. 
433 DM Route 1. Now is the issue though, we went with a bit of a bit of a contrasting style when we uh when we got our assistant manager to port her down, was that part of the problem? Because didn't he have like sort of so many conflicting abilities and it was like that's maybe what happened. Is that a reasonable explanation for what happened? We can kind of blame that rather than my own downfalling abilities. Could be that as well, to be honest, really. Um, 48 reports to look at. Excellent. Sam Anderson, striker. Finishing 13, acceleration 14, off the ball 6. Mm. Mind an old singer called Alex Glasgow, Shoes of Geordie. Okay. Thomas Morgan. Doesn't look, doesn't look great, does he? Passing's all right. Vision's all right, actually. Tackling's a four. Kieran Evans. Look at that. Connor Hanlon. I've already been said, apparently, he's not, not a fan. Callum Kane. He's on the shortlist still. Kenny Jimenez. Jimenez. 6'2". Jumper reach finishing. Off the balls, 12. Composure, decision making. Championship striker. Cowan, not good enough. Ethan Souza. Passing 14. Vision 10. Decision making 15. Tackling 7. Shortlist, but I don't think he's quite there just yet. Left footed though, so that does help. Defensive mid, tries killer ball, shoots from distance, dictates tempo. Not the worst set of uh, traits. Connor Bingham, obviously, we've looked at previously as well. Robbie Fletcher. Sam McKenna. Jaden Bennett. Leading winger. English, Nigerian and German. Formerly of Lupo Martini, Paderborn and Watford. Quite a, it's quite a decent uh, history, isn't it? Raynel Hercules. Oh, we need this guy in. Six foot two. He's called Hercules. Where's he come from? Crawley, Bromley, Burton, Barnet. Where's that Lee Black now? What do we think? Now we know a bit more about him. What are we reckoning? His passing's not very good, is it? His tackling's not very good. Lee Black might not, might not be the guy. Podrick Cunningham. 30 year old striker. Oh, demigod is allowed to play football? Maybe, maybe. I don't see why not. I don't think it's anywhere in the rules that they can't. Joe Manley. Manley by name, Manley by nature. Tackling 10, marking 10, leadership 14, determination 14. Perfectionist. From Dundalk. Can be weird with his passing. Very one footed. I mean, it sounds like he's not bad. Let's see if that's an option, shall we? Joe Manley. Bobby Higgins. Left back, Brody Spencer. We'll have a look at Brody Spencer in a second. Kyle Beggs. Do you free up the wage budget? Yeah, we do. We do. We need to free that up a little bit, but I don't really know who we can move off, to be honest. Uh, Kim Flanagan. Available on a free as well, potentially. 300 quid a week. Doesn't have great jump and doesn't enjoy big games. Dale Rooney. 
16 for determination. Load of 10s for anything else though. Which I guess kind of flatters to deceive, I suppose, really. You see loads of 10s and you think, oh, you might be all right. And then you sort of look and go, it's just 10s for everything. It's just average, really. It's gonna be far too expensive for us, I think. Mark Hanratty, Adrian McDonough. Harry Groom. What's our contract? All right, give me two seconds. I'm gonna. Right, yeah, give me two seconds. The chairs. The chairs back in charge. is probably reasonable in the premiership yeah but to, but it's just it was just a load of average and it wasn't really jumping out at me to be honest um maybe i'm being a little bit a little bit selfish at this point but i need more i need better than what i've already got ryan rainey plays all over the place doesn't he Do some distance, runs with the ball. I don't really think we need players. That... Do we need players who can do that? Probably. Probably. Ronan Bambara. What a name that is. Dribbling 10, crossing 7. Exceptional. Kevin Hodgkins. It's not good. Passing's not very good either, to be honest. Connor Atkinson, full back, 19. From Dundalk. Left hand side, but he's not very quick though, so that's not ideal. Mark Campbell. Poor downs, Mark Campbell. Thought so. Thought as much. Kim Burn, Robbie Campbell, Dean Corrigan. Yeah, withdraw him, we don't really need him. Harry Warren. Tackling's not very good at all, is it? Al McGinley's still not really feeling him. And Andrew Clark. Yeah, we'd like Andrew Clark, but it's just not happening, is it? We're trying to get him in, but it's not happening. Tom Matheson as well, I don't think we'll get. I don't think we'll get him. Especially that he's like sort of playing for essentially one of our rivals at this point. Relegation rival at that. Josh Archer. 
Crusaders. Advanced playmaker gets forward, tries to kill the balls. Slav Chang, you're not going to believe it, mate. We 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 jumped to a failing Premier League side from um, from being a, a, a failing Championship side, to be honest. So we we've, we've kind of failed upwards, but we're in a but we've actually gone to a club that beat us in the cup semi-final so we now have the chance to go and play in that cup final so we might actually benefit slightly um you know but given how things are going so far i don't know <laughs> i don't know if we're going to be uh be uh winning that cup final but we'll have to see fingers crossed fingers crossed we turned up and they had no wins and we've now got some wins so we've just beaten Linfield 3-1. Linfield are obviously up there in the second position. We've beaten Cliftonville. We've beaten Ballymena. That's all. We drew with Warren Point there. 3-1 down. We pulled it back to 3-3. We've also lost to Coleraine twice. Sadly, we lost to Banger as well. So I suppose when you look at it like that, it's not really been the worst run, has it? We've done relatively okay. Raynal Hercules could be my favourite player. I think he's going to be the guy. Even if he's not, I think we I think we make him the guy. Who's the big earners? Let's have a look. I'm going to presume Jones is one of them. Um, let's have a quick look here. So, selling considerations. Uh, let's take contract. Where's wages? 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 Um, hang on finance wages there we go summary salary commitments right top earners Michael O'Connor's on 600 Joy Jones on 450 Reese Campbell's on 500 Marin's on 550 475 for Bird Mitchell's on 450 he's not doing very well about that to be honest so there are big boys 400 for McBri McBrien, 350 for Convy, 375 for Glenny. I mean, the thing is, though, like, yeah, O'Connor's on like 600, but he has scored a couple of goals. You know, so in a sense, in a sense, I guess he's sort of like earning his money, whereas there's other players there who clearly aren't. You know, Rec NR 96, appreciate the follow. Very kind, thank you for that. Rec NR, I think it might be. So, yeah, again, we're in the yellow. I nearly finished this trifle, by the way. I should do. I've been eating all straight. <laughs> Mitchell's free kick in the side netting, sadly. So Balamina, who are Balamina playing today? So we can put a bit of pressure on them, that'll really help. It's a dreadful clearance. Nice tackle though. Campbell. O'Connor. Gallagher. Thinks about it. Jones. Mitchell. That's right. Just keep the football, boys. Nice ball. O'Connor's through. Tackle. No penalty, apparently. Incredible challenge. McBrien. Inside. Gallagher. <laughs> Oh, one nil against Glenavon. What a ball that is from uh, McBride. I thought he was offside, but great run by Gallagher. Times has run perfectly.
Bird brings it down, but he plays himself into trouble and gives away a penalty. Oh. Why does it have to be this way? Fitzpatrick. Oh. Berate Bird for that. And Dunn gets close, doesn't he? Gets his hands up, he doesn't want to get his touch on it. And I mean the player. And they're beating one point. Dean. Decent boy in Gallagher. O'Connor. Mitchell. O'Brien. Gallagher. Save, it's offside there. Malone whips it in. Heading to the side net in. Come on, boys, we can do a little bit more than this. Can we do something? I mean, look, the points, the points decent, but it just feels like there's maybe something else we can do. There is something we can do, we can concede. Even I can appreciate the follow, the catchy sorry. As Dean gives away the header. Bird doesn't follow his man. What's wrong with Jones? Jones is knackered. Gonna have to come off, isn't he? It's now half time, he's gonna have to come off. So Campbell hits it over the top. can hear children. Right. Let me just see. Two seconds. Try and do something now with two one down.
anything, anything at this point. attacking sleep and hopefully we get a second goal. Ball's not down. It's going no one's around it. The defeat, sadly. So there you go. That's where we're going to finish it tonight. Then that'll be our final time. Um, next match then is against uh, it's against Glen Torren. So that's going to be fun. We'll do that. Then of course it's the then we're straight into the uh, the January transfer window. So fingers crossed for that 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 kind of starts to work out. Um, I guess what we'll do now is we'll go and drop a raid while I try and get this guy to sleep. Go and see Tattooed Viking. Appreciate you all being in tonight as well. Um, we'll be back tomorrow. So come and hang out tomorrow and we'll, we'll see if we can fix this. It doesn't really look as bad as it looks at the minute, surely. Take care. See you tomorrow. All the best. Bye everyone. <laughs>